Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend. We'll be using realistic skibbity mobs. Okay, Zoe, what are you excited for today's realistic skibbity mob battle? And wait, Zoe, why are you like 25 feet tall? I am so excited and I don't really know why I'm so tall. Maybe I just grew. Uh, okay, whatever, Zoe. Well, you're gonna have a total of five minutes of spotting your realistic mob. So best of luck, Zoe. Good luck, Dax. Wait, did he just go through a door? Okay, guys, and now we're on to the very first round of our mob battle. But as you can see, we have a little bit of problem because we have this huge bedrock wall here, which means I have no idea what Zoe is going to be doing. And of course, the only way I can win is if I cheat. So luckily, I actually set up something a bit earlier. If I walk over to the floor, simmer right about here, there should be a secret trap door. And oh, look, there it goes. But for this, I'm going to need to go over to Zoe's side. So let me go ahead and grab myself an invisibility potion just so she can't see me when I end up going over there. There. Now let's go ahead and jump down our little ladder right here and we can walk underneath the arena and let's open up this secret trap door right here and I'll make sure to close it up behind me. Was that a trap door sound? Oh, wait a second guys, Zoe might have heard it, but it's okay. I'm completely invisible and she'll have no idea that there's a trap door there. Eh, whatever. Let's just get started. I think for this first round, I'm going to spawn in the toilet man. Wait, she's going to spawn in the toilet man? Okay, that is a pretty strong skimmy character and oh my gosh, just look at this thing. This guy is super, super huge. He looks really strong. And then of of course, I'm going to splash some of this realistic potion on him. Oh, man. Let's see what this ends up turning into. And oh, my goodness. Wait a second. What in the world did this thing just make? Whoa, this guy is super crazy. How did he get so big? What in the world? He is like 50,000 feet tall. This guy looks super, super scary. And now I got to get his spawn egg so I can spawn in a whole bunch of them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Zoe is about to spawn in a whole bunch of them. So I should probably go ahead and head back to my side. But wait, oh, gosh. Where in the world is my trap door and i don't even can't even find it anywhere it's just like hidden come on it has to be somewhere and oh look perfect i found it let's go ahead and close it up and then we can just run back to our side let's drink ourselves a bucket of milk and now i'm completely uninvisible but oh my gosh we can even see zoe's toilet bed sticking through the wall because they're so ginormous this is not looking too good for me well what skibbity mob should i even try to do for this first round to perfectly counter zoe's people i think the first thing we're gonna need to do is build ourselves out a little fence so i can spawn our mobs inside and then splash it with a realistic potion i think for this first round we're gonna be spawning in the speaker man and we're also gonna be spawning in the camera plunger so let's go ahead and put both of these guys inside of this little fence and man these guys do not look realistic at all but hopefully after we're done and we splash this realistic post on them they end up looking super super cool so let's go ahead and see what this ends up doing and wait a second what in the world these guys just got way more realistic look how tall this speaker man is he's like the same height as zoe's mob which means i might have made the perfect counter to those toilet men over there but then we also have this super cool camera right here and look at these plungers on the back of him and he has a really cool jetpack this is definitely gonna be like the perfect combination for this first round but of course i'm gonna need to break them out of this and grab each one of their spawn eggs so i can spawn in a whole bunch of them to completely destroy zoe's army and actually i have one more trick up my sleeve somewhere over here i should have a hidden trap door and let's see where is it and oh, look at that there it goes and there's a chest inside and inside of this chest, I actually have a super, super cool device, which is called the size changer. And basically, this allows me to change the height of any mob that I want to. For example, if I just walk up to one of my cameramen over here and click on him, he'll become two times the height, which means he's going to be two times as powerful. And of course, if I go ahead and do this to all of my cameramen, they're going to be super, super overpowered and completely destroy Zoe in this round. But I can't underestimate Zoe's army. She does have a lot of really strong people over there. So who do you guys think is going to win this first round? You can either comment team dax or you can comment team zoe okay zoe well i think i'm pretty much ready to go for this first round in this realistic skibbity mob battle are you excited for the walls to drop i'm so excited you are so going down we'll see about that i'm dropping the walls and here we go it looks like the first round has officially started whoa what did you even spawn in camera ninja toilets yep this is the camera ninja toilet and i also spawned in the speaker man and it looks like you made a version of the speaker man as well yep i did the realistic toilet man isn't he looking super strong honestly he does look super strong and pretty cool but i think my army can take them out but man this is a whole dog fight i can't even tell who's winning right now yeah i think i'm winning come on guys we cannot lose to zoe keep fighting come on toilet man you got this oh no it looks like a lot of people are dropping now zoe i might win this first round no way my guys were super duper strong it seems like your guys are dropping wait no way i'm losing this round come on guys keep fighting i still have so many 
many mobs left? I don't even think you spawned in that many. I did spawn in a bunch. Come on, camera ninja. And wait, what? My camera ninja went down too. It what? No way. You just won that round. How is that even possible? Sorry, Dax. It looks like your guys just weren't strong enough. And what's in your hand? Oh, uh, nothing, Zoe. That's just my new iPad. Um, Okay, super cool. Let's go to the next round. Guys, what in the world? I can't believe Zoe actually beat us in that first round. Her army was just way too strong for our people. But it's okay. I need to focus up, and I can definitely win the second round. Well, let's go ahead and spawn in something really, really good. And wait, what in the world is that thing? And wait, that kind of looks like a skibbity toilet. Uh, why in the world is there a skibbity toilet right outside the arena? Uh, I don't know, but maybe I should go check it out. Zoe's probably doing a whole lot of nothing over there. So I think if I just sneak out for a second, she won't even notice. Let me just fill this back up so there's no evidence. And then we can walk over to this huge skibbity toilet. Hopefully there's something good in here. And wait a second. What in the world is this? There's like a bunch of lava down there. And wait, there's even a little piece of obsidian. Why is there obsidian up there? Well, I mean, I guess I can just fly over there. No problem, right? And uh, wait a second. Did it just put me in survival mode? What the heck is that? Okay, well, now I can't even fly over there anymore. Well, I kind of do want to see what that little obsidian place over there. So I guess we have to do a bit of parkour. And oh my gosh, I am actually actually really really bad at parkour so this is a little bit scary but come on i'm sure i can make it and wait are these ladder parkour parts oh no this isn't good okay come on i can do this let me just jump in whoa that was way too close okay just a few more jumps and i think i'm almost to that portal and perfect look at that it, whoa wait it is a portal well let's just go ahead and jump inside and see what's down there whoa once i got down here it actually put me back into creative mode so i guess i definitely had to be in survival in case i messed up and wait what in the world is this? This looks to be some sort of chest, huh? I wonder what's inside. And uh, wait a second. What in the world are these? There's a couple spawn eggs. And wait, one says the camera woman. What is this other one? The TV woman? Well, maybe these are like two really strong, realistic characters that I can use. But wait, there is one more thing inside of there. Let's go ahead and see what this thing is in one-way glass converter. Uh, I've never heard of anything like this before, but I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. I think one-way glass is that stuff that makes it so you can see through, but the other person has no idea. So so maybe if I walk up to our big wall and click on it, it'll turn into one-way glass. Okay, since I can fly now, let's go ahead and head back through this little portal here, and then I can just run back to the little base. And the first thing I guess we can do is look at our two different spot eggs. The first one is the TV woman, and whoa, she honestly does look pretty realistic. That's kind of cool. But hopefully the camera woman is a little bit better, since I do like the camera woman more, and whoa, look at the camera woman. She is ultra realistic. This is actually pretty cool. Okay, well, let me start talking about these two guys. Let me go ahead and try this one-way glass converter and see if we can get the wall to work. All I have to do is walk up to it right here, and right click and wait a second guys it just turned into one-way glass and now i can see everything on zoe's side and what the heck she's modded like a multi-head spider twin this is so creepy and wait look there's zoe right there Ugh, i feel like this has been taking forever there's no way that dax isn't done yet wait zoe says it feels like i've been taking forever um i really haven't been gone that long or wait maybe i haven't gone that long i don't really remember but her army does look really strong so i think i'm gonna have to spawn in a lot more right people if i want any chance at winning this round so let me start by spawning in a huge legion of camera women since i think they are way stronger than the tv woman and then in the back i'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these tv women and of course you already know i have to go get that size changer from earlier and then i can just click on a few of them to make them really really big okay zoe well my army is ready to go are are you ready for this second round? Ugh. Finally, Dax, it took you long enough. Uh, what do you mean, Zoe? I've literally been ready for like an hour. You're the slow one. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. Whatever, let's just drop the wall so I can beat you. And here we go. It looks like the next round has officially started. Whoa, this is crazy. And what's going on behind here? Uh, nothing, Zoe. That's just a skippity toilet. But man, it looks like your multi-head spider toys are getting completely crushed. This is such an easy round. No, this is not good. I only have a few left. And uh, I think your last multi-head spider just got taken out, Zoe. Man, your arm really sucked this round dang that was the quickest l i've ever taken we better move on to the next round because i'm definitely gonna win i really doubt that but the score is only one to one so you still have a few chances to win and perfect guys we completely destroyed zoe in that second round but we have to keep the winning streak so let's go ahead and spy through our one-way glass to see what zoe's doing and wait why is she putting a little fence okay now that my fence is done i'm gonna spawn in the g-man and the buzz toilet and then hit him with my potion wait what in the world is this gonna make and oh my goodness wait a second it just made like an ultra realistic version of the both of them they look so strong whoa 
These look super OP, so much cooler than the original Buzz Toilet and G-Man. And now that I have the spawn egg, I can spawn in a whole bunch of them. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. So it has a really, really strong army over there. What in the world am I even gonna do? Okay, come on. I can think of something really good. Let me go ahead and fix out my fence so I can spawn in something. And you know what? I actually have a really, really good idea. What if I spawn in both the big TV man and also the Titan TV man and then splash them with a realistic potion to see what we can get? Okay, first up, let's go ahead and put the Titan TV man down and oh my gosh, this guy is so small. What the heck? Okay, let me go ahead and use my size changer and then if I make him like three times the height, maybe he'll be a little bit bigger when we use the potion. But next up, we have to do the big TV man and what the heck? This is the big TV man. He's like two inches tall. Okay, we'll also go ahead and use a size changer on because I want them to be really, really big when we use the realistic potion. So let's go ahead and see what this ends up making. And oh my goodness, wait a second. I think it actually worked. Look how realistic both of them look. They are so much more detailed now and they're gonna be so much stronger than those stupid little ones we spawned in. But okay, I gotta get really, really serious. Let me go ahead and break out this fence and then I can grab both of their spawning so I can make a huge army with the both of them. And everyone knows that the Titan TV man's like one of the strongest Alliance characters. So I think he can wipe Zoe's army, especially after I spotted a bunch of them. But we do need to keep in mind that she has the G-Man over there. And the G-Man is really, really strong. So we cannot underestimate him. And actually, let me go back to my little secret chest because I think there's something else in there now. And let's see it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. We have a super cool mob enchantment book. Basically, whatever mob I click on, they'll start to glow, which means they're super, super enchanted. Just like this big TV man right here. And if I go around and click on a bunch of these guys, they're gonna become super, super overpowered because they're all enchanted and shiny. Let me just go ahead and click on a few more. And then I think I'm pretty much ready to go for this next round. But wait a second. I do have one little cheat up my sleeve. Let me go ahead and make all of Zoe's army super, super small. Basically, if I just type in this command right here, her whole G-Man army will get super small. And oh my gosh, look, they're so small and cute now. What the heck? Why is my army so small? Oh, this is so funny. You know what, guys? I should probably make them even smaller. Let's do like 0.25. And oh my gosh, I can barely see them now. They're like little munchkins. This is not cool cool at all. What's going on with my G-Men? Oh, this is the perfect chance. Let me see if Zoe's ready for the wall to drop. Hey, Zoe, my army's basically done. Can we just start this route already? Uh, no, Dax. Can I have another minute? My army just got super small. Uh, no. You can have like five more seconds. How about that? Uh, okay. I'll take five seconds. Up. Oh, well, it looks like your five seconds are up, Zoe. The route has started. What the heck? My mobs are super small and your mobs are super big. This is not fair. Wait, what do you mean this is not fair? All my people are getting taken out. How is this even possible? Dang. Just because they're big doesn't mean they're strong. This is awesome. I won. What the heck? You're little stupid G-Men were just too strong. How does that even make any sense? They're like half my height. Hey, Dax, there's no need to call someone stupid. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to take this G-Men for myself and just throw them off the map. Maybe you should take notes because obviously I chose a winning mob. Okay. You know what, Zoe? The next round, you are totally going to get crushed. Stop being all confident. You're about to go down. Okay. Whatever you say, Dax. Guys, what in the world? I can't believe Zoe actually beat us in that round. Her army was just a little bit too strong for us, but I think I can pull out this next round. Let's go ahead and spy through our white glass and see what Zoe's gonna try and do. For this round, I think I'm gonna spawn in the parasite toilet. Wait, she's gonna spawn in the parasite toilet? And oh my gosh, this guy is so ugly. Look at his little dumb face. Then you already know I'm gonna splash some of this realistic potion on him. Oh gosh, let's see what this does. And what in the world does this just make? Look at this realistic parasite toilet. This guy is so creepy. Whoa, this guy looks super cool. He's definitely gonna scare Dax. I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them so he gets super creeped out. Okay, guys, this is not looking good for me. Zoe has a bunch of parasite toilets. I don't even know what I'm going to do for this round. I think there's only one skibbity mob that could actually counter Zoe's army. What if I spawn in the Titan Speaker Man? And what the heck is this thing? This has to be the most unrealistic Titan Speaker Man I have ever seen in my life. This thing looks super, super ugly. Okay, well, hopefully whenever I use this realistic potion, it'll get a lot, lot better. But let me actually go ahead and make it size bigger. That way, when it actually transforms, it'll be super huge. Let's see what this potion ends up doing. And wait a second. I think it actually worked. Oh my gosh. This guy looked so much better. That other one was just pathetic. And you know what? Since it is the Tide Speaker Man and he's super overpowered, I only think I need one guy in order to take out all of Zoe's parasites. But I am going to make him a little bit better by using this mob enchantment book. That way he's super glowy and overpowered. 
And actually, speaking of Zoe's army over there, I think we still have a little bit of time left. So what if I prank her? Well, the first thing I need to do is give this a visibility potion and then I'll just splash it on myself. And then I can go back to where my little trap door was earlier. And there it is. Perfect. Let's just head over to Zoe's side. Okay, and perfect. I have to head up this trap door right here. And oh my gosh, guys, we're on Zoe's side. And wow, she has a lot of parasite toys. I kind of feel creeped out being on her side. Perfect. My army's looking super strong and super scary. I'm finally going to win the mob battle. Okay guys she does have a lot of people so i think if she does keep this up she actually might win this mob battle so i'm gonna have to do something really really bad let's go in my inventory and see what type of dynamites i have i think i have a couple really really powerful ones and oh wait a second i should try out this physics dynamite let me just go ahead and throw it at the floor around zoe and boom look at all of that whoa there's so much destruction whoa what happened did a bomb go off oh my gosh Zoe really thinks it was a bomb no zoe it was just me throwing physics dynamite and look how big of a hole there is now this is really funny i have to repair the hole before my mobs fall through wait she's trying to repair the hole okay what if i go ahead and throw another one right there in the middle and boom what the hell what keeps happening guys this is way too funny zoe is gonna get so angry i bet we can take out like her whole army with this i know there's only one person that can be behind this Max. uh hey zoe what's up why are you screaming right now you just like busted my eardrums i don't know do you want to take a guess why i'm screaming uh, I don't know, Zoe. Why are you screaming? Because there's explosions happening on my side, and it's completely sabotaging me from winning the mob battle. Uh, I don't know anything about that, Zoe. That's a little bit weird. And oh my gosh, guys, wait a second. The one-way glass broke. Let me just go ahead and fix this before she sees it. And oh my gosh, I think we made it out okay. Did I just hear a block break over here? <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, wait, Zoe was right behind me. Why is there a dirt block right here? It looks like somebody broke a block right above it. Oh my gosh, guys, that was way too close. Zoe almost caught us. You know what? Maybe I should change my form real quick. I actually have this one mod that lets me transform to anything I want to. And I think I'm going to transform into Zoe's parasite toilet. And perfect, here we go. And oh gosh, hopefully she doesn't see us. But perfect, we are now the parasite toilet. And I'm all on Zoe's side. And now I can just do whatever I want since I blend in with everything. And it does look like Zoe's actually putting in a lot of work to fix this hole. So, hmm, what if I just go ahead and break a bunch of it? What the heck? Why is this breaking? Oh my gosh, guys, she is so bad right now. This is like the funniest thing ever. You know what? Let me stop messing with Zoe directly. And how about I use this mob killer to take out a whole bunch of her army and make them super, super weak. Once she's done filling in that hole, she's gonna be super mad that all her mobs are disappearing. And, oh, wait a second. She was right there, guys. What the heck? Hey, I saw you kill some of my mobs. Oh, wait, let me change my voice real quick. Uh, what are you talking about? I just saw you kill some of my mobs. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Oh, no, that wasn't me. Uh, that was Tim. He's right here. Tim, get over here. Wait, oh my gosh. Wait, she just took him out. And wait, why is she coming back to me? Thank you so much for telling me about Tim. I always knew he was kind of shady. Uh, yeah, of course. You're completely welcome, Zoe. But you should know if I see you kill anyone, I will kill you. Oh, uh, no, nope. I won't do any of that. I'm a totally dedicated soldier. Yeah, I'll keep my eye on you. Guys, what the heck? Zoe is going completely crazy. And why in the world is she following me right now? Okay, this is a little bit weird. And I have to find some way to get out of here before she gets too suspicious. So what if I just walk into the middle of this whole group over here and I splash this invisibility potion and now everything's invisible? What the heck? Did a bunch of my people just disappear? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, now that everything's completely invisible, I can just sneak back over the wall like this, and then I should be good to go back to my side. And wait, why are there a bunch of Zoe's mobs on my side? We do not want any of you guys over here. Let me take all these guys out. And now all I need to do is just transport back into my normal self, and then I think I'm pretty much good for this round to start. But who do you guys think's gonna win this next round? You can either comment Team Speaker Man, or you can comment Team Parasite. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army is basically ready to go. Can we just drop the walls in this fourth round? Yes, let's do this thing. And here we go. The walls have a officially dropped and man you have a bunch of parasite toilets i know and you only spawned in one guy uh zoe do you know who this one guy is no not really what the heck this is the tight speaker man who's like the strongest character he can totally take all your weak parasites he looks super lame what do you mean he looks super lame he's all glowy and he has a bunch of fire on him but he looks really strong yeah i'm not getting strong from this one well just wait he's about to crush your entire army all by himself i seriously doubt that i have so many any more mobs than you. Come on, Titan Speaker Man. You have to win this. If I lose this round, it means I lose the entire mob battle to Zoe. Parasite Toilets, you got this. There's not that many of them left. And wait, a bunch of them aren't even fighting. What the heck is this, Zoe? Your army is so lame. It's because they don't need to fight. They know that they're going to win. <gasps> and wait a second, guys. I actually just sold a one-way glass piece over here. Let me just go ahead and break this so Zoe doesn't see it. And perfect. Dax, what did you just break? 
Uh, nothing. It was just a weird piece of dirt that looked like glass and it was on my side. You are always acting so suspicious during these mob battles. Zoe, why don't you just worry about your army? Because it looks like my tight speaker man's going to work. Yeah, going to work because he's trying so hard to beat me. Come on, you can totally win this. Keep fighting. There isn't that many parasites left. Oh, and wait, a bunch of them are taking damage. What in the world is going on? Zoe, I think you actually might end up losing this one. No, this is not looking good. Oh, there's only like three left. Two left. Come on. And perfect. It looks like the tight speaker man actually won. How does it feel to take a huge L, Zoe? Doesn't feel great if I'm being honest. Well, that means the score is now two to two. So we're gonna have to move on to one final round to see who the real mob battle champion is. And it's gonna be me. And perfect, guys. Since we won that last round, it means we only have one round left in order with this whole entire mob battle. So let's really focus up and see what Zoe's gonna try and pull off for this final round. For this final round, I need to do something super creative. So I think I'm gonna spawn in a toilet and the space device and i'm hoping if i splash this realistic potion on both of them that it'll end up giving me like a space toilet wait guys there's no way something like this will actually work right it, wait a second what did it actually work what in the world is this thing yay it worked it worked now i just gotta get his spawn egg and i'm gonna build an army of these astronaut toilets Okay, this guy does look really cool. I can't even lie, but I can't believe Zoe's little thing worked. That is so crazy. Well, okay, let me focus up. I gotta get something really, really good for this round. And let's see, what have I not used yet? Wait a second, I haven't used a Titan cameraman yet. What if I go ahead and spawn this guy in and then I splash him with the realistic potion to get something really cool? And what the heck, why is this guy so short? This guy is literally like the same height as me, but okay, I guess it's fine as long as I use this size changer on him and then splash him with the realistic potion. This should be really cool. And wait a second, oh, Oh my goodness, this made like the most realistic Titan cameraman ever. This guy looks so cool. And you know what? I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of people this round just so we can take out Zoe's army really fast. So let me go ahead and select this guy's spawn egg and then I can break him out of his cage and just spawn in a whole bunch of Titan cameramen. And who do you guys think is going to win this crazy final round? You can either comment team cameraman or team UFO. Okay, Zoe, I think I'm pretty much ready to go for this final round. And let me just tell you, you're about to get completely destroyed. Yeah, I seriously doubt that, but I do think you're gonna get surprised by the mobs that i created well let's see about that i'm dropping down the walls and here we go the final round has started oh my gosh there is so much fighting right now whoa you spawned in so many guys i don't think i spawned in enough yeah and you guys are super super tiny so how in the world do you even think you're gonna pull this round out zoe they're super tiny but they're super strong we'll see about that i have way too many tiny cameramen i don't even think you stand a chance you never know dax i could pull through come on guys keep fighting oh no, no i'm seeing a bunch of people start dropping we cannot lose this round. Yikes, Dax. It doesn't look good for you. Come on. I think my Titan cameraman can pull this out. Keep fighting, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Astronaut toilets. We got this. I think the final part of the fight is starting. Come on, Titan cameraman. Take out the last bit of Zoe's army. No. My astronaut toilets are diminishing. There's only a few of them left. I think I'm actually going to win this. No way. I thought I was going to win. And perfect. It looks like I ended up winning, Zoe. Ha, your army sucked. I don't want to talk about it. I really thought I was going to win that round. Well, Zoe, maybe you can get some better mobs and maybe you can end up winning the next mob battle. I'm definitely going to win the next time, Dax. You just wait and see. Well, anyway, Zoe, are you excited for today's skibbity mob battle? And wait, why do you have a giant car and why are you like 20 feet tall? I am so excited and I don't really know why I'm so tall. I guess I just grew. Uh, okay, whatever, Zoe. Well, you're going to have five minutes to spawn in your skibbity mobs. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Well, anyways, guys, now we're on to the very first round of our mob battle. It's secretly, I have a few different things up my sleeve that I can use to get a win in this mob battle. And one of the things I have is a secret underground tunnel over over here and let's see it should be somewhere near and oh perfect there it goes and now all you do is go down this ladder right here and i set up a bunch of one-way glass underneath and look at this now i can see zoe but she can't even see us this is so perfect for this first round i think i'm gonna start out with a super super strong skibbity mob the tri-titan wait what did zoe just instantly spawn in the tri-titan in the first round he's like one of the strongest skibbity characters this is not looking good for me already whoa this guy looks super cool but he kind of runs weird I'm gonna spawn in more of them. Oh my gosh, Zoe is spawning in so many. Okay, guys, quick. We have to get back to our side and figure out something really, really good that can counter this. But honestly, I don't even know what can counter it. Let's just head up this ladder right here and we can get our perfect combination. And wait a second, what in the world is this? Why are there trees on my side? It looks like a little tiny forest. And there's also this really weird pathway on the floor. Um, I mean, I guess we can just follow it. Let's just go ahead and walk down this little path and see what we can find. And oh, uh, wait a second, what? 
in the world is this? It looks like there's some obsidian blocks on the floor. And wait, is that basalt blocks? And what the heck? Is this like an underground tunnel? Well, this is definitely super weird, but I should probably go check it out just in case there's something really cool inside. So let's go ahead and jump down and see what's in here. And wow, perfect. We made it down without any problems. And wait, is that a chest over there? Oh my gosh. Well, hopefully something super, super good's in this chest. Let's go inside and see. And what the heck are all of these? Well, there are some spawn eggs. Let's see. And what? This says buzz toilet. Um, I mean, I guess we can try and use that for the first round, but there's also this thing called the upgrade potion. I don't really know what the upgrade potion does, but I mean, I guess we can just take it and use it on the buzz toilet and see what happens. Let's head back up to our little arena and then we can try spotting in our buzz toilet. And how about we build ourselves out a little fence so we can use the potion as well. Let's go ahead and put the buzz toilet right below it. And oh my gosh. Okay. This is supposed to be a buzz toilet. This is probably the lamest thing I've ever seen. I mean, the buzz saw looks pretty cool, but where in the world is the buzz head? Like what the, what just happened? to it okay well don't worry we still have this upgrade potion and maybe it'll actually make something good for us let's go ahead and see what this ends up turning into and wait a second what in the world it looks like it made an upgraded bus toilet and look we actually have a head this time but the bus saw looks even cooler look at the face it's so creepy and we even have this huge flame on the back okay this is definitely an upgraded version of the bus toilet this is so cool well now all i have to do is grab this guy's spawn egg and then i can build out a whole army with all of these buzz toilets and actually speaking of army i should probably check up on zoe's army to see how it's looking so let's go ahead and head back to our trap door it should be oh perfect there it is let's go see what she's doing okay let's see what's happening and wait a second why are some of zoe's mobs glowing what the heck is she doing over here yay i am so glad i found this mob enchantment book now my guys are glowing and they're super overpowered wait did zoe get a mob enchantment book and she's using it on her mobs to make them super overpowered Howard, okay, I think we're gonna need a few more buzz toys because this is not looking too good for us. And the wall should be dropping in like 30 seconds, so I better wrap this up. Wait, did she just say the walls are dropping in 30 seconds? Oh gosh, guys, quick, we have to run back to our side. Okay, let me just spawn in a few more buzz toys. Come on, we have to have a super strong army. Dax, it's time to wrap this up. The wall's about to drop in like five seconds. Wait, what? The walls are about to drop in like five seconds? And what the what? The walls actually dropped. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Wow, this is mayhem. I don't know who's gonna win this round. Uh, I think you're completely winning, Zoe. My buzz toys are gonna completely cook. You're trying to are just way too strong yeah i tried super hard this round i definitely feel like i'm gonna win wait oh no this isn't good how are all my buzz toilets losing i thought i spawned it up but i definitely don't think i did yeah there's no way that your buzz toilets are gonna win the tri titans like the strongest skibbity character oh my gosh this isn't good and wait i think this is the last bit of my bus clips over here come on guys keep fighting and oh no they're getting completely taken out and up i think that was my last buzz toilet. what the heck your tri titans were too strong sorry dax maybe you should try harder next time but what is this forest behind you oh uh i don't really know i just walked over to my side and there is this really weird forest over here and then there is this really creepy hole dax why is there a portal uh i don't know zoe it just kind of appeared here and there's a chest down here dax are you serious uh, you know what? How about you just stay down there, Zoe? And I'm gonna go ahead and seal this portal up, okay? No, Dax, you know I get claustrophobic. Well, now you're completely trapped in there, so you're gonna have to think about what you've done. Dax, let me out of here. I'm claustrophobic. <sighs> okay, fine, Zoe, whatever. I guess I'll just let you out, but don't go into my portal again, okay? Ooh, it's so good to see sunlight again. Fine, I won't go into your portal, but don't lock me in there again. Okay, let's just move on to the second round. Okay, guys, we might have lost the first round, but don't worry, I'm definitely gonna win this second round. How about we go ahead and head back to that little little trap door over there so I can see what Zoe's doing and then I can make the perfect counter to her mom and perfect we're right over to her side and wait is she building like a little fence right now what is she doing perfect my fence is all ready to go and Dax didn't notice but I grabbed one of his upgrade potions from that chest wait what does she actually steal one of the upgrade potions oh gosh guys this cannot be good and I'm gonna spawn in the camera woman and the cameraman and then splash some of my upgrade potion on there wait what in the world is this gonna do and wait a second what in the world these guys just got way bigger that is definitely one crazy upgrade whoa these guys are gigantic this is insane I don't even think I need to spawn in more mobs. These guys should definitely be as powerful. Wait, Zoe's not even gonna spawn in more mobs because she thinks they're powerful enough? Okay, this actually might give me the advantage for this round. Let's go ahead and head back and think of our perfect counter. Wait a second, what if I use the multi-head spider and then I splash the ultra awesome upgrade potion on it? And perfect, I still have it. So let's go ahead and build out our little 
fence. And then we can go ahead and put the multi head in the middle. And the multi head tower is supposed to be like really, really strong. So hopefully if I spotted a bunch of them, they can completely overwhelm those two over there. And yeah, this is definitely a lame multi head spider. I mean, look at it. It literally has the Steve head on top of it. But hopefully once I splash it with this upgrade potion, it becomes super powerful. So let's go ahead and see what this ends up doing. And oh my goodness, this looks way better. The upgraded version of that spider toilet looks way, way better. Now all I need to do is grab this spot egg like this, and then I can break this guy out, and then I can start spawning in a bunch of these toilets. This is going to be such a crazy round. And actually, I didn't even think about it. Maybe I should go back to that portal and see if anything else is inside of there. Let's go ahead and go back down our little path. And perfect. Look, the portal's still here. Now we can just jump inside and go ahead and check out our chest and wait what the heck just happened uh i swear there wasn't parkour here last time or am i going crazy or something i really don't know but oh my gosh there's a bunch of lava parkour well i mean at least i'm in creative mode so i can just fly across and wait a second as soon as i said that it literally put me in survival mode okay that is totally messed up well i guess we have to do this parkour if you want to get to that chest maybe there's something really good inside that we definitely need and it's a good thing that i am like a parkour expert i will never mess up any parkour jumps because i am just way too good at this stuff i mean look at all these ladder jumps these are honestly pretty easy let me just go ahead and jump across this and then i have to jump down to this one here and man i'm almost already to the end just one more jump and perfect now we can go ahead and see what's inside of this chest and what in the world is this thing it says a one-way glass converter oh wait a second this might be perfect it could probably turn that whole bedrock wall in front of our sides in the one-way glass so i don't have to do it myself okay quick let's go ahead and get back to our little arena and then we can test it out for ourselves just one more jump and perfect and oh wow as soon as i got back here it actually put me in creative mode so that way i can just fly back up well, let's go ahead and run to the front of our wall and then click on it and see if it actually makes everything one-way glass and oh my goodness guys look it actually worked there's one-way glass everywhere now and look i can even see on zoe's side look there she is wow this is totally awesome my mobs are super big and powerful there's no way that dax is gonna win okay i mean her mobs are pretty big and powerful but i spotted way too many there's no way that those two can overpower all of my multi-head spider toilets but who do you guys think is going to win this second round? You can either comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Zoe. But guys, if you comment Team Zoe, there's absolutely no way she's going to win. So you're going to be a little bit disappointed. And wait, earlier Zoe did say she had a mob enchantment book that she used on her mobs. What if I go ahead and look inside of her inventory and take it from her? All I have to do is type in this command right here. And oh my gosh, look, we can see everything in Zoe's inventory. And wait, is this that mob enchantment book? Perfect. Now all I need to do is take it and now I can use it to all of my mobs. Wait, what happened to my mob enchantment book? It just disappeared from my inventory <gasps> wait a second guys i forgot to make a copy and i literally just stole it from zoe's inventory oh gosh hopefully she doesn't get too mad dax did you just take something from my inventory uh what do you mean zoe why would i take anything from your inventory i don't even know how to do that stuff yeah i seriously doubt that something's missing and i'm sure that you're the one that took it uh no it definitely wasn't me zoe but i have to get back to getting my mob army ready how about you just worry about your people okay whatever you say oh my gosh guys that was way too close but you know what? i think zoe actually fell for it so now i can just go ahead and chant all of my mobs with absolutely no problems okay zoe well my army is ready to go for this second round in the mob battle are you ready for the walls to drop i'm super excited for you to see my mobs we'll see i'm dropping down the walls and here we go it looks like the round has started and zoe you only spotted two people what type of decision was that yeah because they're super big and super powerful but dax some of your mobs are glowing i know that you took my book now wait no they're glowing because i used an enchantment table to make them glow yeah i didn't take your book i didn't even know you had a book i can't even read zoe dax an enchantment table that doesn't even exist uh okay and wait it looks like one of your people already got taken out zoe i think you only have the camera woman left come on camera woman you got this i think she is definitely gonna lose this and there's only one person fighting right now just wait till the whole army comes over here this is not good i'm kind of glad that they're holding back come on multi-head spider you can definitely take her out and wait what he just lost to the camera woman sorry dax only a few more to go and then i'll be the winner uh zoe i have a lot more people to go i definitely think you're gonna lose and wait why are you punching my mobs i'm not i'm not doing anything you know what since you want to punch my mob i'm just gonna pick my guy up and put him right in front of the camera woman so he can take her out himself dax stop no intervening with the mob battle what you literally intervened first zoe i don't care and boom the camera woman just got taken out how does it feel to lose a round honestly not very good well let's go ahead and move on to the third round maybe you can get better and win that one and i will win the next one and perfect guys we completely destroyed zoe in the second round but i need to go ahead and keep up the winning streak let's go ahead and see what she's gonna try and pull off for this next round for this next round i'm gonna spawn in the titan speaker man what the heck she spawned in the titan speaker man and wait this guy looks so lame this is supposed to be a titan speaker man honestly he doesn't look like the titan speaker man at all he looks super weak i don't know what to do 
I guess I could splash some of the upgrade potion on him. Oh gosh, guys, let's see what the upgrade potion does. And oh my goodness, wait a second. This guy looks so much better after the upgrade potion. Wow, this was certainly an upgrade. Now I just got to get his spawn egg and then I could spawn in a whole bunch of them. Wait a second, is Zoe actually going to spawn in a bunch of tight speaker men? That is so unfair. Oh, whatever. Well, I guess I have to make my own counter to that, but what in the world can I even use? And wait a second, everyone knows that the Titan speaker made greatest enemy is the g-man so what if we spotted the g-man okay let me just go ahead and repair my fence and perfect what the heck is this this is supposed to be the g-man look at this guy look at his dumb little face oh my gosh this guy looks so lame what the heck am i supposed to do with this guy you know what what happens if i go ahead and click on him with this mob enchantment book and then i use the upgrade potion to see what it turns into please be something really cool and oh my goodness wait this has got so much better and look he even has that mob enchantment look on him because he's glowing now this is definitely way better than that first G-Man. That first one really sucked. But let's go ahead and grab the spawning because I want to spawn in a bunch of these G-Man and completely destroy those Titan Speaker Men over there. But I do need to be a little bit careful because the Titan Speaker Men is a really, really strong character. So I could possibly lose this round. And wait a second, that gives me the perfect idea. Why don't I go to my secret chest? I should have a secret trap door somewhere around here and oh perfect and inside of this trap door i have a little chest and inside of this chest i actually have a really cool device called the personal shrinking device but don't worry guys this doesn't only make things small it also makes them super super big so if i walk up to any one of my g-men let's go ahead and do the enchanted one and click it on he'll become super huge oh my gosh he looks so overpowered now okay let's go ahead and click on a bunch of our g-men because i want my r to be really huge because everyone knows as soon as they get super big they get super powerful and wait what the heck happened to my portal i bet dax is so confused right now when i was over there i broke his portal wait did zoe just say she broke my portal when she was on my side oh my gosh that is so messed up well whatever it's really not that big of a deal let me go ahead and keep making a bunch of my guys bigger so i can completely destroy her tight speaker man over there and actually we still have a few minutes left so i actually have a really good idea to prank zoe with what if i build like a huge roller coaster minecart that drops explosive tnt on her side so of course we're gonna have to grab some of the blocks so let's get a few pieces of railing with some redstone and then we're gonna have to grab some tnt but hmm, what type of tnt should i even use an oh perfect what if i use this arrow tnt that would be really cool now next of course we need to get the best block in the game which is this green block and then i can just build over to her side like this and hopefully she doesn't really pay attention let me just continue to build this bridge out and i want to put it kind of in the middle so let's build it out in this direction over here and then we can finally end it right here but of course we need to get some redstone rails so let's put them all like this and of course we need some normal rails to make it go across now let's go ahead and run the railing this way and then i can go ahead and get herself a minecart that i can drop the tnt on oh wait all i have to do is get this one with the TNT inside of it and now I can just push it over to Zoe's side and let's watch all the arrows go off and boom look at all that what the heck where did these arrows come from this is not cool oh my gosh guys that was so funny okay let's go ahead and send another one of these arrow TNTs and Zoe's gonna be so confused it's so bad what the heck at least my mobs aren't dying but this is just annoying okay well she might be right I guess her mobs aren't dying so why not get something that's a little bit better what if I get this one called the lightning dynamite that would be really cool all I have to do is put it on our railing like this and push it over and let's see what this one ends up doing it should be really really strong and oh my gosh look at that what the heck some lightning dynamite just landed on top of me this is not good oh my gosh guys there is so much fire now and wait i think it actually took out a few of my guys but wait way more of zoe's people got taken out so i guess it's all good this is not good i need to spawn in more guys if i want to win this mob battle what the heck zoe is literally spawning in more people you know what what if i just send another one of these lightning dynamites over there just to ensure that she doesn't spawn in any more people and here we go and boom dex uh hey zoe what's up why are you screaming right now i don't know take a guess maybe the fact that there's lightning happening on my side oh zoe it's just a storm i mean i'm getting lightning on my side too there's nothing really to worry about yeah and are your mobs dying too yeah a few of my mobs actually died too this really sucks but what can we do about it it's the weather right i think we should just start this mob bottle and get this over with this is bad vibes oh yeah zoe we can definitely drop the walls just give me like two seconds and perfect zoe it looks like the walls have officially dropped it. Oh my gosh, you have so many tight speaker men on your side. This is super crazy. Yeah, I had to spawn in a whole bunch because of the lightning. Yeah, that lightning is really crazy. The weather is just in 
insane over here. Your mobs are huge. And Dex, what is this up here? Oh, uh, Zoe, this is absolutely nothing. I don't even know what you're talking about. There's absolutely nothing in the sky. And see, look, there's nothing even here. I definitely saw something, Dex. And that's right about where the lightning dynamite was being released from. Oh, well, I wasn't lighting it off at all. I told you some of my mobs died. Why would I do that to myself? I don't know, but you're pretty suspicious. Come on, my g man have to win this. Everyone knows that the g man is way stronger than the Titan Speaker Man, so there's no way I can lose. Yeah, but I spawned in a whole bunch of guys. I don't know if your G-Men are going to win. Yeah, I think you might be right, Zoe. You spawned in way too many. And oh my gosh, my G-Men are dropping like flies. Oh no, I only have a few left. And oh wait, I don't even think I have any G-Men left. What the heck? Your people were so strong. Yikes, Dex. Looks like you lose. Oh my gosh. Well, that makes the score only two to one, Zoe. So you're definitely not going to win one more round. Don't even worry about it. Except I'm going to win the next round and then I'm going to be the mob battle champion. We'll see about that. Let's move on to the next round. Guys, what in the world? Zoe's mobs were way too strong. She spotted so many upgraded Titan Speaker, man. That was not fair at all. But if I lose one more round, I'm going to lose the entire mob battle. So guys, we have to focus up right now and figure out what Zoe's doing so I can make the perfect counter. I think for this round, I'm going to spawn in the big TV man and the Titan TV man. Wait, what? She just spotted the big TV man and the Titan TV man? Both of those guys are extremely strong. What the heck am I even going to do about that? And since these guys are super duper strong, I don't even think I need to spawn in more. I'm pretty sure I'm good with these two. Wait, is Zoe actually not going to spawn in more? Oh my gosh, guys, this actually might be perfect for us. And actually, I have a genius idea for this round. But in order for this to work, I have to clear out all this land. So let's go ahead and click over in this corner right here. And then I'll click in the sky right here and type this in. And perfect. All that stuff is gone now. And basically for this round, I want to make a combining machine. In order to do that, I need to type in this special command called slash slash paste. So let me just go ahead and type this in. And perfect, guys. Look at that. Now we have our mob combiner. And basically all I have to do is put one mob on one side and one mob on the other side. And hit this extra special lever. It'll transform it to be a combined mob. And actually, I have a really good idea. I still have that really creepy spider toilet from earlier. So what if I go ahead and put him on this side like that? And then I go ahead and put myself on the other side and combine myself with it. But in order for this to work, we're going to need to go ahead and wire a bit of redstone. So let's go ahead and make a pathway out in this direction. And then I'll go ahead and place the lever right here. And then I'll just hop inside. And now whenever I hit this lever, it should combine us. And oh gosh, wait, I really don't feel well. That might not have been the best idea ever. And what the heck look guys it actually worked it made a multi-head tax toilet okay it seems to be a little bit broken which kind of happens when you use a combining machine but hopefully this should be good enough to take out zoe's army let's go ahead and spawn a bunch of dax toilets all the way around so we can completely destroy her in this round and who do you think is gonna win this round you can either comment team dax or team tv okay zoe well my army is basically ready to go and let me just say i might have made a lot of copies of myself really what does that even mean dax uh i guess you'll just have to wait and see when the walls drop let's go ahead and start this round and here we go zoe the round has officially started wow you definitely did make a lot of copies of yourself yep these are all dax spider toilets and they're extremely powerful they're definitely gonna destroy your little weak army over here this is insane this one's doing like circles what's going on uh they have a few different problems because my combining machine didn't work but don't worry it doesn't really make that big of a difference wait you built a combining machine is that what was taking you so long uh yeah i built a combining machine and yeah it did take me a little bit of time so it did take me a little extra time sorry about that it's fine just don't let it happen again and i think any second now your two big guys are gonna die it whoa look just like that they just fell over man the dax spiders were just way too strong they were super strong or maybe it's just because you spawned in so many of them yeah i don't really know but either way it doesn't make a difference because now the score is two to two so we have to move until the final round to determine who the champion's gonna be well the champion is totally gonna be me we'll see about that so wait, i'll catch you in the next round and perfect guys we completely crushed zoe i knew using a dax spider was like the greatest idea ever but i do need to win this tiebreaker round so let's see what she's gonna try and pull out for this final round and wait why is she breaking the fence for this round i'm gonna spawn in the cameraman and the titan cameraman wait she spawned in both the titan cameraman and the normal cameraman okay that is a pretty sick duo who are both probably really really strong and i'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them so then they can work together and defeat dax Okay, she is making a really strong army for this final round, but you know what? I think I have a really good idea. What if I go ahead and use this combining machine again, except I have a little bit different of an idea for this round. Let's go ahead and put the lever back in the normal spot. And on this side over here, I'm going to spawn in the default skibbity toilet, which is already super creepy. I mean, just look at this guy. But on the other side, I'm going to put this thing called a modification station. And basically, this should give it a bunch of really cool upgrades. Now let's go ahead and hit our lever and see what it does. And wait a second, did it actually work? Oh my God. 
gosh, it made like a UFO toilet. This thing is so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn in a big army of these guys because I definitely want to destroy Zoe. And of course, we're going to have to give them a few different upgrades as well. So let me just go ahead and grab our size changer and our mob enchantment book. And now I'll go around and start clicking on a bunch of them. And I'll also make them really, really big. Oh man, this is definitely going to be one insane final round. I have no idea who's going to win this. Okay, Zoe, I think my army is ready for this final round. Are you excited to lose this mob battle once and for all? I'm excited to be the mob battle champion. Well, we'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. It looks like our final round has started. And man, there is so much chaos going on. This is insane. I spawned in a whole bunch of people. Yeah, I see that. And I spawned in the UFO toilet. He is really, really strong. So I don't know if all your Titans and normal cameramans can even beat him. Well, it looks like he's taking a lot of damage. So it looks like they could beat him. Come on, UFO toilets. We have to win this. And oh no, it looks like a bunch of your people are starting to drop. Zoe, I might actually win this round. This is not good. I definitely had spawned in so many people. There's no way that your guys are defeating him that easy. The UFO toilet is just too strong. There's only a few of the Titans left. Come on, we have to win this. There's one guy left and perfect. We just got your final person. And wait, Zoe, were you just trying to take out some of my UFOs? No, I didn't do anything. Well, whatever. It doesn't make a difference because I ended up winning the mob battle, which makes me the super ultra champion. Whatever, Dax. Don't get too cocky because next time I'm going to win. Well, we'll see about that. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle, but we'll become extremely tiny. Okay, Zoe, were you excited for today's tiny skibbity mob battle? I am so excited. I love the skibbity characters. Okay, Zoe, you're going to have five minutes to spot in your mobs. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, now we're on to the very first round. And as I said, we are extremely small. If I just put a block right next to myself, I am quite literally the size of one block. But of course, we have this huge bedrock wall, which means we can't really cheat. But don't worry, I set up some super cool security cameras that we could use. So if I go ahead and click on this and then press one or two, I can see right on Zoe's side. And oh my gosh, guys, look, there's Zoe right there. But she is so tiny. It's like impossible to see her. This first round, I think I'm going to spawn in the zombie toilet. Wait, she spotted the zombie toilet. And wait, it's so small. I can barely see it right now. Where in the world did it even go? Let me see if I can look on my other camera and maybe I can get a better angle of it. And oh my gosh. Gosh, wait, there it is right there. That thing is so tiny. These mobs are hilarious. Wow, this guy looks super creepy, but they're still so small. I'm gonna have to spawn in a whole bunch of them. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, Zoe looks like she's spawning in a whole bunch at her side. So that means I have to think of something equally as good to take her out. Well, let's see, what type of skibbity mob can I even use for this first round? That'd be really, really powerful. Wait a minute, I might have the best idea. What if I start off by using the Tri-Titan? And if you don't know what the Tri-Titan is, he is super, super huge. And oh my goodness, look how cool this guy looks. It's kind of crazy that he struck down, but he's still like three times my height. The Tri-Titan is super powerful. But of course, it looks like Zoe spawned a bunch on her side. Let me check again. And oh my gosh, she has so many people. Okay, let me go ahead and spawn it in a bunch of Tri-Titans so maybe we can actually take out her army. But I feel like we don't need a crazy amount since the Tri-Titan is probably the strongest Titan in all of us so he should be able to beat up all of Zoe's people pretty easily. But just in case, of course, we're going to go ahead and put a bunch of them down. But you know what? They still do look a little bit weak. So why don't I go ahead and cheat a little bit? And over on this wall, I actually have a secret hidden chest with a bunch of cool stuff inside. And let's see. And oh my gosh, look at that thing right there. This is called the mob enchantment book. So basically, whatever mob I click on becomes insanely overpowered once I use it. So let me walk up to this tried titan right here. And boom, look at that. Now he's super 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 glowy, which means he's ultra powerful. And of course, I'm gonna need to go ahead and do this to a bunch of my tri titans because I want them to be as powerful as possible. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army is basically ready to go. And let me just tell you, I probably spawned in the strongest skibbity character of all time. I guess we'll just have to wait and see because I seriously doubt that. Well, let's go ahead and drop the walls and see who the winner of this first round is gonna be. And here we go, Zoe, the first round of the mob battle has officially started. Whoa, you didn't even spawn in that many people, Dax. I don't think you're gonna win this one. Oh, don't worry, Zoe. I might have spawned in that many people, but this is the Tri Titan. He's probably like the strongest Titan out of all the Skibbity characters. Yeah, we'll just have to see about that. I spawned in a massive army. Yeah, you do have a lot of zombie toys. And oh my gosh, these guys are absolutely disgusting. I honestly don't even like looking at them right now. That's part of the strategy. But it does look like my Tri Titans are going to work. And look at the glowy ones. They're like extra powerful, like one shotting your little zombies. That is not good. How did you even get them to glow? Uh, I got them to glow because I used like a magical enchantment and then the magical enchantment made them super, super strong. What the heck? 
I didn't know we could use magical enchantments. Uh, you can use whatever you want, Zoe. And man, it looks like my Tritons are going to work. Come on, let's win this round, guys. This is not good. My army isn't even trying to fight them. And man, I have like two guys on your side fighting all of these zombies, but they're like taking them all out because they are just way too powerful. This is not looking good for me. This looks like it's going to be an easy first round win for me, but man, you still have so many zombie toys. This could really be anyone's fight. Oh no, it looks like the final part of the fight is going on. Come on, Tritons, we have to win this. Come on, zombie toys. Let's band together and beat the Titans. Oh, there is no chance they're going to win. They are completely getting wiped. There's only a few of them left. This is not good. Good. And wait, I think we just got your last zombie toilet. Haha, <laughs> Zoe, you lost the first round. Dang it, I really wanted to win that round. Well, maybe you can try better and win the next round. Let's move on to round two. And perfect, guys. We completely destroyed Zoe in that first round, but we have to keep up the wedding streak. So let's go ahead and use our super secret cameras again and see what Zoe's gonna do. Let me just click on one or two and wait a second. The camera at position doesn't work. Wait, why does it not work anymore? What the heck? Why are there these cameras on the ground? This is super weird. Wait, did Zoe just say there was cameras on the ground? And oh my gosh, guys, since the wall drop, it means the cameras got broken, which means they're now on the ground on Zoe's side. This isn't good. Okay, don't panic. I have to think of something. What can I do in order to get over to Zoe's side? Let me go ahead and run back to my chest and see if I can find something really, really good in there. Come on, there has to be something. Let's just open this up. And what the heck is this thing? It says a one-way glass converter. What in the world is one-way glass? Wait, is that that type of stuff that you can put on walls, which means you can see directly through and the other side has no idea. Oh my gosh, that will be so perfect for us. Okay, let's go ahead and walk up to this huge bedrock wall and then we just have to right click on it and see what it does. And wait a second, guys, look at this. It all turned into one-way glass and I can see everything on Zoe's side. And wait, look, there's even Zoe right there. Hmm. But this round, I have to think of something super good in order to beat Dax. So I think I'm gonna spawn in the astronaut toilet Whoa, this guy looks super cool. Wait, what the heck is this? She said an astronaut toilet, and what the heck else did she just spot in? Then I spotted the knife toilet, and this guy looks super deadly. What in the world? Wait, the astronaut toilet looks so cool. Look at that big UFO ring, and it has like a laser blaster on the bottom. What the heck? This knife toilet looks super powerful. Those knives coming out of his body are sure going to defeat Dax's mobs. I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them. Oh my goodness, guys. This is not good at all. I don't know which one I'm more scared of, the knife toilet or the spaceship toilet. That guy is really, really creepy, but this knife toilet has like a bunch of katanas on it. Okay, this is really freaky, and I have to think of something really good in order to win. Uh, this round is really gonna suck it. Wait a second. Why is there just obsidian flying on my side? That is a little bit weird. Well, I mean, I guess I can just go ahead and break it. What the heck is this? This looks like some type of portal. Uh, okay. Well, maybe I could just go ahead and go in this portal and what the heck? Where am I right now? And is that a chest on the other side? But wait a second. There's like a bunch of lava below. And wait, what in the world is this? This looks like kind of like a block, but nothing's there. Wait, maybe it's like invisible parkour that I have to do to get across. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Hopefully this is actually an invisible block. And oh my gosh, it really is. And now that I know it's an invisible block, I can just go ahead and cross this pretty easily. All we have to do is look at the floor to determine where the next block is. And then we should be over there to that new chest in no time. Okay, come on, just a few more left. And wait a second, it doesn't even look like there's a block for this next one. Oh gosh, I have to do a little bit of parkour, which is obviously kind of hard because I'm super small. But let's go ahead and jump over it. Oh my gosh, we actually made it. But now we have to look inside this giant chest and hopefully something really good's in there. And wait a second, what in the world is this? A speaker golem titan uh i've never heard of a speaker golem titan but i guess we can go ahead and see what it does when we get back hopefully this is actually really really powerful because i want to crush zoe let's go ahead and see and wait what the heck is this thing oh my gosh this guy looks so cool this is what a speaker golem looks like i've never heard of this before but it definitely looks way more powerful than all of zoe's mobs over there actually i might want to take that back zoe does have a lot of people and i only have one of these golems right now so of course i'm gonna need to spot in a lot more so let me just go ahead and make a big army across the front of my front line so we can completely crush her and man who do you guys think is gonna win this round you can either comment team golem or you can comment team us UFO. But guys, I think her UFO toilets stand no chances versus my golems. I mean, just look how big these guys are. Speaking of standing no chance, I should probably also use this mob enchantment book to make a bunch of them super glowy and strong. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army is ready to go for this next round. Are you excited to finally lose again? No way I'm 
losing this round, I spawned in some pretty OP mobs. Yeah, your spaceship guys are kind of cool, but I still think my guys are going to destroy yours. Um, Dax, how do you know what I spawned in? Uh, wait, I don't. Wait, let's just drop the walls. And here we go. It looks like the walls have dropped. Dax, how did you know what mobs I spawned in? Uh, I didn't. I just took a guess because I can hear like spaceship noises and stuff. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Spaceship noises. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. You're cheating somehow. No, I am not, Zoe. And it looks like my golems are actually doing a pretty good job versus both of your people. Your Cortana people are really strong as well. Yeah, they're super strong. I think your golems are going to drop like flies. But I'm keeping my eye on you, Dax. Come on, guys. Keep taking them out. We cannot lose to Zoe's army. And oh my gosh, Zoe, you spawned in so many. What the heck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I'm trying to win the mob battle. Oh my gosh. I guess I got to start spawning in a lot more because you spawned in way, way more guys than me. You should probably just stay spawning in little no mobs. Oh my gosh. It is just a big fighting fest in the middle. I don't even know who's winning right now. Come on, guys. We have to take them out. Oh my gosh. You still have so many UFO people left. Yep. And they're going to defeat your golem. No way. I still have two of my guys left. Come on, take them out. He just took out another one. And oh no, he just dropped. And wait, the last one just dropped too. Yikes, Dax. Looks like you lost. Ugh, whatever, Zoe. Don't get too confident. I'm going to win the next one. Yeah, maybe you will. Maybe you won't. But Dax, what is this over here? Oh, uh, Zoe, this is absolutely nothing. See, look, there's absolutely nothing in here. It's just like an obsidian ring. Why did you just break it? I didn't break it. Look, there's blocks right there. Yeah, I think that this was a portal. It doesn't even matter if you cheat because I'm still going to be the mob battle champion. What in the world, guys? I can't believe Zoe's people actually beat our golem. He looks super strong, but he got taken out by Zoe's army. But don't worry, the score is only one to one. I can go ahead and win this next round. Let's see what Zoe's going to spot in. Yay, I am so happy that I beat Dax and I actually found this size changer on the ground so let's see if it makes my mob bigger wait did she just say she found a size changer on the ground and it might make her mob bigger and what the heck that thing's like normal size now let's see if it works on me and what in the world guys zoe just went back to normal height oh no this is not looking good for me yay i'm tall again now it's time to spawn in more of these evil scientist mobs okay these scientists look really really creepy but zoe said she had some type of size changer that made her height go back to normal i have to take a look at this and using this one command i can see inside our inventory so let's go ahead and see and oh my gosh look we can see in our inventory and wait is that that size changer he was talking about okay well of course i'm gonna have to take this and use it all myself because i want to be normal height again wait where did my size changer go this game has been glitchy the whole time. It must be some sort of lag. Wait a second, guys. I forgot to make a copy of the science changer. I literally just took it away from her, but Zoe just blamed it on lag, so I think we're gonna be okay. Well, let me go ahead and use this size changer on myself to see if I can go back to normal height. And oh my goodness, guys, look at that. I'm completely back to normal height, which means I can do so much more because I couldn't even reach a bunch of stuff because I was so short. But hmm, what mobs do I even want to spot in for this next round? I really need something good because I cannot lose another round to Zoe. What if I go ahead and spot in two super strong bobs. I think I'm going to spawn in the camera woman and the cameraman. First up, let's go ahead and look at our cameraman. And whoa, this guy looks so cool. And even though I went back to my normal height, this guy's still like twice my height. That means he must be extremely strong. But if you watch any of the skibbity stuff, you already know that the camera woman is way stronger. So let's go ahead and see what she looks like. And whoa, she looks super cool too. And she is supposed to be way stronger than that cameraman over there. So if I spawn in a bunch of hers, I think we should be able to win this round no problem. But we also do have this size changer. Maybe I should go ahead and take a look at it and see what else it has to offer. Whoa, wait, it looks like we have some type of screen in here and we can change the height of stuff. Wait, maybe if I click on stuff now, they'll be like two times the height. So let's go ahead and run over to our camera woman and let's see. And whoa, she just got super big. Okay, let's do the same thing to the cameraman. And oh my gosh, guys, if they're this big, that means they're gonna be easy even stronger. So let's start off by spawning in a bunch of them, and then I'm gonna go around and click on them to make them super, super big so we can crush Zoe in this third round. And of course, I'll also use this mob enchantment book just to make them as strong as they possibly could be. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army is basically ready to go, and I am so excited to destroy you in this round. I'm so excited to get this thing started. My mob is 
pretty crazy this time. We'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go, Zoe. The round has started. And wait, are these scientist toilets? Yep, they're mad scientist toilets. And wait a sec, how did your moms get so big? Uh, I don't know, Zoe. They just got big because I've been feeding them a lot. Yeah. Feeding them a lot? Yeah, right. I lost my size changer and I wonder who took it. Wait, your size changer? Zoe, I have nothing to do with your size changer. I just been feeding my people a lot of cake, which makes them super, super big. Hmm, I didn't know that. And here we go. It looks like your final scientist toilet got taken out. Man, Zoe, your army was super weak. Dang it. I thought those guys were going to be super powerful, but... Don't worry, Dax. The next round, I'm going to destroy you. Well, Zoe, if I win this next round, I'm going to win the entire mob battle. So you better think of something good. Don't worry, Dax. I will. And perfect, guys. We completely crushed Zoe in that round, which means I only need one more round in order to win this mob battle. So let's go ahead and spy through our one-way glass and see what she's trying to pull off for this last round. Okay, I think I'm going to need to pull out the big guns in order to beat Dax. So I think I'm going to make a combining machine. Wait, did she just say a combining machine? What in the world is she talking talking about and all i gotta do is type in the command slash slash paste wait a second what in the world she spawned this combining machine i've never seen one of these things before yay my combining machine turned out perfect now all i have to do is put one mob on this side and another mob on the other side and then flick the lever and then i'll have a combined mob wait guys there's actually no way this is gonna work right and i'm actually gonna get super crazy and put a whole bunch of skibbity toilets on this side because i want a multi-head spider toilet wait she's trying to make a multi-head spider toilet what the heck then i have to go on this side and place the spider down oh no guys i'm actually getting nervous if something like this can actually work the mom might come out really really strong then all i have to do is flick the it, wait a second, guys. It actually made a multi-head spider toilet. What the heck is this? Yes, my multi-head spider toilet turned exactly how I wanted it to. Now I just got to go get it spawn egg so I can build my army. Okay, guys, this is not looking good. I can't believe something like that actually worked. This is completely insane. But you know what? Since Zoe does have a combining machine, it gives me a really good idea. And oh my gosh, she is spawning in so many bombs. What the heck? What if I go ahead and splash myself with an invisibility potion and then i just sneak over to zoe's side and use it for myself and i think what i'm gonna try and do is do this titan speaker man right here and combine it with this modification station so it gets a bunch of really cool upgrades okay let's go ahead and take this guy out and of course i'll break this and then i'll splash myself with invisibility potion and then we can just walk over to zoe's side and oh my goodness guys we made it right over to zoe's side and there are so many mobs over here and oh wait look there's zoe right there and what in the world is she doing right now is that a pc man i've been waiting a super long time for dax to be done so i'm just gonna play some video games wait what in the world she's literally gonna play video games while she's waiting okay you know what that does give me the perfect chance but i can't believe she would disrespect us like that but while she's distracted let me go ahead and sneak inside up here and first i'll put the tight speaker man down and then i have to run over to the other side like she did and in the middle of this side i'm gonna put this modification station and oh gosh wait a second i gotta get rid of that multi-head spider toilet in the middle of this otherwise it's accidentally gonna combine with these guys okay now that all of those guys are cleared out all i have to do is hit this button and let's see what we end up getting and oh my gosh wait a second guys i think it worked that's the upgraded tight speaker man right there wait what was that noise? <gasps> Wait a second, guys. Zoe must have heard the combining machine go off. Quick, let me go ahead and grab this guy's spawn egg. I better go check that out. Make sure nothing's wrong. Quick, come on. Let me get the spawn egg. And now I have to get out of here. Wait, is that a Titan speaker man? Where did he come from? Oh, no, guys. We couldn't take out the Titan speaker man inside, which means he's now on Zoe's side. This is not good at all. Well, he is super strong. I guess I could get a spawn egg and have him fight in my army. Wait, what? She's going to use it for her army? Oh, no. This is not looking good at all, guys. I think this plan totally backfired on me. Okay, quick. I need to get back over to my side and think of something else I could use to help my guy out. Oh, guys, this really sucks. Zoe was able to get our Titan speaker man and now spawn him on her side. What the heck am I supposed to do now well maybe i can just spawn in a bunch and wait a second is that another portal over there oh please hopefully there's something really really good in that portal that i can use to help me win this round let's go ahead and walk over here and see and wait a second is that skibbity dop again oh my gosh guys we love him let's go inside and see if he can help us with this mob battle hey uh mr skibbity dop oh hello dax what are you doing here again uh i might have accidentally messed up and gave zoe one of my combined titan speaker men and now she's totally gonna crush me in this round do you have anything that can help me out oh yeah bro see this door right here i actually have something really really powerful inside of there that you'll be able to use 
use. Oh, perfect. Come on, let me go inside it. Wait, Skippy Dop, I literally can't get in the door. There's like a secret code that I don't have. Oh, well, actually, I can open the door for you under one condition. Well, uh, what's the condition then, Skippy Dop? Everyone watching has to subscribe in the next five seconds. Oh my gosh, guys, quick, you heard him. Everyone has to subscribe in three two, one. Okay, Skippy Dop, everyone watching, just subscribe. Now, can you please open up the door for me? Oh, yeah, no problems, bro. Let me open it up for you. Oh, this is so perfect. And look, he opened up the door for me. Thank you so much. Now I can see what's inside this chest. And, uh, wait a second. What in the world is this thing? It says an OP God Potion. Skippy Dop, what in the world is an OP God Potion? Oh, basically, if you splash them on any mob, they'll just completely take out the whole other army, so it's pretty overpowered. Wait, so you're saying I only need to put this on one of my mobs in order to win? Yep, that's exactly what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, Skippy Dop, you're a genius. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go win this mob battle now. And wow, guys, Skippy Dop really hooked it up with this OP God Potion. I probably should have said thank you. And oh gosh, wait, it looks like the portal closed. Well, uh, maybe I'll think of another time. And all he said we had to do was just spawn in our person and splash it on him and he'll become super, super powerful. Well, let's see what this ends up doing. And wait a second, what in the world? This guy just got so big. And Skippy Dub said I only need one of my characters in order to take out Zoe's army, so I'm really hoping he's telling the truth here. Okay, Zoe, well, I think I'm ready for this round to start, and let me just tell you, my one guy's totally gonna crush your whole army over there. One guy? Dex, how are you supposed to win with one guy? This is literally all I need, trust me, Zoe. I got this in the bag. Okay, whatever you say, drop the wall. And here we go. It looks like the round has officially started. Whoa, how do you have a Titan Speaker Man? Uh, because I spawned him in. What do you mean, how do I have him? How the heck do you have a Titan Speaker Man? He just showed up on my side, but it's quite the coincidence that you have one too. And wait, Zoe, what in the world is this huge contraption over here? What the heck did you just build? It's a combining machine. Wait, it's a combining machine? You literally built a combining machine in the middle of a mob battle? That third cheating it's really not cheating i'm just super smart and i had a whole bunch of time because you were messing around oh my gosh well don't worry skippy Zop told me that this one guy could take out your whole army so i'm definitely gonna win wait you got help from somebody else uh yeah i got help from skibbity dop why that's not cheating or anything that's absolutely cheating i bet you that's why you have a portal wait no that's not a portal so that's literally just obsidian there's nothing wrong with it and wait what in the world are you trying to do right now i don't play with cheaters wait no zoe you cannot take out my guy get rid of that mob killer and what the heck? You just took out my guy. Yeah, it seems like Skibbity Bob's help wasn't even that helpful. Uh, because you cheated and used a mob killer to take him out. Zoe, that's so messed up. And wait, what? You took me out too. That's what cheaters get, Dax. What the heck? And wait, are you wearing my head right now, Zoe? Yep, sure am. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, now we have to go on to the tiebreaker round since you're a dirty cheater. Let's just move on to the final round. Let's do this. Guys, I can't believe Zoe literally just cheated in that last round. That is so messed up. Okay, I really need to focus up and win this final round. Let's see. Where in the world is she? And wait, is she sitting at her PC right now? What the heck could she be doing? I think in order to win this final round, I'm going to have to do some research. Wait, she's doing research on a computer? That's completely cheating. Which two mobs will allow me to win a mob battle? What the heck? There's no way that anything's actually going to come up, guys. Perfect. It came up. I know exactly what I'm going to spawn in. I'm going to spawn in the buzz toilet and the G-Man. Wait, it told her to spawn in the buzz toilet and the G-Man? What the heck? These guys are too insanely powerful skibbity bobs. That is so messed up. These guys are super duper powerful. And I'm going to build a giant army. And there's no way that I can lose. Okay, guys. I really need to get something good for this final round if I want any chance at winning. You know what? I have two really good ideas. For one, I'm going to spawn in that tried titan from the first round because I want to see him at full power and full height. But as a companion, I'm going to spawn in the villager camera titan and whoa this guy actually looks really really cool i've never seen one of these before this is pretty awesome and let's see do i still have that op potion on me and oh my gosh yes i do now if i splash these guys with them they'll become insanely strong and can one shot zoe's army and oh my goodness these guys are completely huge now which means they can totally cross zoe's army but who do you guys think is gonna win this final round you can either comment team dax or team zoe but guys i better see no one comment team zoe because we're totally gonna crush her in this final round okay zoe i think my army is basically ready to go and you are totally going down you are not winning another round definitely gonna win another round and i'll be the mob battle champion well we'll see about that i'm dropping down the walls and here we go it looks like the final round has officially started whoa what even are these mobs this is an ultra powerful camera titan and this is the tri titan from earlier this is super crazy i don't know if i'm gonna win this round yeah you don't really have that many people honestly and zoe wait 
why is there a computer over here? Because I was researching which mobs would allow me to win. What the heck, Zoe? You can't research. You've been cheating so much. And wait, what in the world is going? My guys are getting jumped. Are they about to lose? Yes, I may have a chance. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. And Zoe, don't ignore my question. You cannot cheat with using the internet. That is so messed up. Dex, where is the rule that says that? Oh my gosh, whatever. Come on, Titans. We have to win this. This is going so good. I still have so many mobs left. Come on, guys. We have to win this. We can't lose to Zoe. It looks like you still have a bunch of G-Men and bus toilets, but I think I'm going to pull this one off. Ah, they're going right on top of me. Wait, what if I go inside of my inventory just like this and I grab this lightning dot my and kaboom? Dax, what was that? Where did that come from? Uh, Zoe, it came from the sky. It's like storming outside. I saw you throw the lightning dynamite. Uh, I didn't throw anything, Zoe, and it looks like all of your people got taken out, which means I'm the ultimate winner. Dax, I hate that you keep cheating. Wait, no, Zoe, don't use that mob killer on me. Stay away. Get back here, Dax. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend, but we'll be using horror skibbity mobs. Okay, Zoe, were you excited for today's horror skibbity mob battle? I am so excited. My horror mobs are definitely going to be better than yours. Well, we'll see about that, Zoe. You're going to have a total of five minutes. And don't forget to use your horror potion. Best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys. And now we're on to the very first round of our horror mob battle. And what Zoe doesn't know is I built a secret underground bunker so I can see exactly what type of mob she spawns in. So let's go ahead and find it. I should have a hidden trapdoor somewhere along this wall. And where could it even be? And oh, perfect. Look at that. I have a secret trapdoor right here. So as soon as I go down underneath the ground, I can walk over to Zoe's side and look I can even see through the one-way glass which means I should be able to see her and look there she is For this first round I just need to finish building this fence so that I can spawn in my first mob ah uh, why is she building a fence what in the world is the point of this and I'm really just gonna test the waters with this horror potion so I'm gonna spawn in the normal skibbity toilet and then splash some of the potion on him oh gosh what is this gonna do it, wait a second did it just make a way scarier skibbity toilet what in the world this guy looks so freaky wow the potion really worked I mean, I wouldn't say he's too creepy, but I can definitely use him. So I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of him. Okay, guys, Zoe is spawning in a bunch of people. So we're going to have to head back to our side and figure out like the perfect counter for this. So let's just go ahead and run back and figure something out. Let's go ahead and get something super, super good for this round. And wait a second. What in the world is this? Uh, guys, this kind of looks like a super scary Herobrine forest. I mean, look at this. All the leaves are gone and there's redstone torches and redstone dust. Oh no, this is actually really freaky. Let's go ahead and just walk around this forest. Man, this is super creepy, guys. I honestly don't even want to be here right now. I have never seen anything like this before. Well, it doesn't really look like anything's in this forest, so I think we might be okay. Well, I guess we can just get back to spotting in our mob. And wait a second, what in the world is that thing over there? Oh no, guys, that kind of looks like a Herobrine a bright spotter that is super super creepy i kind of just want to sit by this tree forever but maybe we should go check it out i don't know maybe something really cool could be there mm, it does just look like a normal Herobrine spotter but what can i do with this and wait a second what if i splash our horror potion on it what in the world would that do Let's go ahead and see my splashing on it. And oh my gosh, wait, what in the world? Is this a Hero Brian? What? This is a Hero Brian skimming toilet. Oh my gosh, this is horrifying. But wait, since it's Hero Brian, it probably means it's like extremely overpowered and broken. So it can destroy Zoe's army over there. Well, even though I don't like this force, let's go ahead and grab his spotting. And then I guess I get spotted a whole bunch of these Herobrine skibbity toilets. Okay, let me go ahead and put a few more down. And you know what? I actually want to grab one more thing. I should have a secret chest somewhere over here. And oh, look at that. Perfect. Right under this trap door, I have something called the shrink ray. And basically, whatever I click on will instantly become super, super big. So let's walk up to one of these hero brides here. And whoa, look at that. Now he's like three times the height, which means he's going to be three times as powerful. And of course, I'm going to walk around and do this to a bunch of my hero bride toys because I want them to be as strong as possible. And who do you guys think is going to win this first round? You can either comment team hero bride or you can comment team toilet. Since basically Zoe always spawns in the default skimmy toilet. That I think she's going to get crushed. Well, anyway, Zoe, I think my army is ready for this first round in our horror mob battle. Are you ready for the walls to drop? I am so ready. Let's drop these walls. And oh my gosh, wait, it looks like the mob battle has started. And wait, it also got darker. Oh no, this is really scary, Zoe. This is insane. Why is it getting darker? This is so creepy. 
I have no idea, but man, you spawned in a lot of skibbity toys. This could be anyone's round. And you spawned in Herobrine. This is insane. Yep, I was able to spawn in Herobrine. And everyone knows he's like the creepiest thing in Minecraft. So I think I actually might pull this round out. And why are they so big? Uh, I don't know, because maybe I use this awesome shrinking ray to make everything super big. What the heck? I didn't know we could use stuff like that. Uh, you can use whatever you want, Zoe. It's a mob battle for a reason. And wait, why are there a bunch of baby villagers on your side? I don't know. They just came out of nowhere. Isn't that even more creepy? This makes absolutely no sense, but come on. I have to... Wait, I'm seeing a bunch of my hair bride toilets dropping. This is not looking good. Yikes. This isn't looking good for you, Dax, but it's looking really good for me. Come on, hair bride toilets. There's only a few of you left, but I'm sure you can pull this out. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to pull it out. Wait, but Zoe, these guys over here are actually taking out a lot of your skimpy toilets. I think I actually might have a chance. No way. I had so many more mobs than you did. What's going on? Oh, no. And it looks like you only have a few left. Let me go ahead and break this guy in his case so he can get jumped in. Wow. He just got taken out too. No, this is not cool. But at least I saw of the villagers. Uh, I think they're all taking out the villagers. Zoe. Villagers can't even fight. I don't even know why they're here. Aw, poor villagers. They don't stand a chance. And just like that, I think we took out the rest of your army, which means I win round one. Good job, Dax. That was a good win. Well, let's just move on to round two. And maybe you can get better and win that one. One. I definitely will. And perfect, guys. That first round is way too easy. Herobrine is just extremely overpowered, but now we have to win this second round. And actually, I just thought of something we could probably do. Let's go ahead back to our chest over here. And now that the first round's complete, I should have a new device in here. And whoa, look at this. This is the one-way glass maker. And now, basically, if I walk up to our big bedrock wall and click on it, it'll become one-way glass. So let's go ahead and click on it and see what it does. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Everything turned into one-way glass. And look, there's Zoe right there. No, I can see exactly what she's gonna do for this comfortable angle of my own side man i'm so mad that dax freaking beat me that round i need to try really hard this time so i think i'm gonna spawn in the parasite toilet and then of course i'm gonna splash some of the horror potion on him wait what in the world is this gonna make and oh my goodness look at that this thing just got so much more creepy i am so freaked out right now yikes i really don't like the looks of this guy but I can definitely use him in my army, so I'll spawn in a whole bunch of them, but he is really creeping me out. I hope he creeps Dax out as much as he's creeping me out. Okay, guys, that parasite toilet is definitely creeping me out. I mean, just look at it. I think it's horrifying. But I really need to think of something for my side. And man, these hair by trees are really freaking me out. I should probably go ahead and get rid of all of these. And perfect. Now that everything's clear, what should I try and use for this round? Well, Zoe's been building out a fence. So what if I go ahead and build out my own fence just like this? And inside of our little fence, I'm going to go ahead and spawn in this really creepy spider toilet because I want to make like a combination of this guy. And now right next to the spider toilet, I'll also throw in this super cool iron sword. That way when we splash the horror potion, it'll combine to be the ultimate scary toilet. Let's go ahead and see what this ends up making. And wait a second. Oh my gosh. That made like the ultimate knife spider toilet. This guy is so freaky. And he's like super, super tall. He's way bigger than those hair Brian toilets. Let's go ahead and break him out of his cage right here. And then I can grab his spawnic and then I can spawn in a whole bunch of these knife toilets. This is honestly super scary to see them this tall. It is pretty much freaking me out. But I think Zoe's boss might be a little bit scarier. I don't really know. Man, my army is so powerful. There's no way that Dax can think of anything better than this. Wait, she doesn't think I can come up with anything better than those stupid parasite toilets? Guys, I have this super awesome katana toilet and he's way stronger. But actually, Zoe seems a little bit confident. So why don't I mess with her real quick? And I actually have this one really cool mod that lets me transform into any character I want. And I think I'm going to transform into Zoe's parasite toilet just like this. And whoa, I look so creepy right now. And this is perfect. Since I look like Zoe's parasite toilets, I can just go over to her site and she won't even notice that it's up. Us. So let's just fly over the wall while her back is turned like this. And then I can just drop down in the middle of all these parasite toilets. Oh my gosh, I blend right in. And since Zoe was a little bit confident with her army, why don't I just cut her numbers a little bit? I'm going to use this thing called the mob killer. And basically, I'm just going to walk around and take out a bunch of Zoe's mobs with it. Man, this is going to be so good. It's going to be my army's going to be way bigger and way stronger than her army. Hey, you, why are you killing my mobs? Oh, wait a second, guys, Zoe was right behind me. Let me change my voice real quick. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? I wasn't killing any of your mobs. I saw you kill about 10 people. Why are you lying now? Oh, no, that wasn't me. That was uh Frederick and Frederick's uh, right over here. Yeah, no, it wasn't Frederick. It was you. Uh, well, as long as I run into all these people, you won't know which one I am. Hey, come back here. And perfect. I think I got away, guys, so he doesn't know where we went. Man, where did he go? I lost him in this sea of parasite toilets. Okay, guys, that was a little bit too close. I don't think I can use the mob killer anymore, but what if I grab something else? 
Oh, there's this one dynamite called the arrow dynamite. And I bet when I throw this up in the sky, it's going to do a lot of damage. Let's just see what this does. Whenever that arrow dynamite finally lands in. Whoa, look at that. What the heck? Where did all these arrows come from? This is a crazy mob battle. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so funny. Okay, let's go ahead and throw a few more of these arrow dynamites up in the air. So there's a bunch of arrows everywhere. This is going to be so much destruction. What the heck? More arrows came down and my mobs are dying. I need to spawn in more fast. Wait, guys, she's just spawning in more mobs. Oh, okay, this isn't good. What else could I use? I'm sure there's some other really cool dynamites. Oh, what if we grab this super awesome lightning dynamite? This can definitely take out a bunch of people really fast. Let's see what this ends up doing. And whoa, look at all this light. Lightning. What the heck? Where is this lightning coming from, Dax? Uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? Why are you screaming right now? Because there was arrows and then there was lightning and my mobs are dying. And I think you're the one behind it. Wait, no, Zoe, that's actually happening on my side too. You know, this is a horror mob battle. So sometimes scary things just happen. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. This is kind of spooky. Yeah, but we only have like another minute left, Zoe. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my mob so we can drop the walls, okay? Okay, Dax, whatever you say, but be quick about it. Okay, I will, Zoe. Okay, guys. Guys, I told her we only have a minute left, so I think we should throw a few more lightning dynamites and just run back to our side so she gets super confused. Come on, guys. Let's go ahead and head back. What the heck? There's more lightning. This is not good. And perfect, guys. We were able to make it back to our side. Now, let's just go ahead and morph back into our normal self, and then I can ask Zoe as she's ready to drop the walls. Okay, Zoe. Well, my army is basically ready to go for this second round. Are you excited to lose another round to me? There is no way I'm losing. You don't even know what I have on my side. It's going to be crazy. Uh, yeah, whatever you say, Zoe. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go, Zoe. It looks like the round has officially started. Wow, this is a crazy match. Yeah, I have a bunch of knife toilets, and it looks like you spotted a bunch of parasite toilets. Dax, come here. Uh, yeah, Zoe, what's up? Where in the world are you? And hi, Zoe. Why is there TNT in your hand? TNT? No, Zoe, that's literally a mob killer, see? Yeah, why do you have a mob killer in your hand? Uh, to take out some of my mobs in case they misbehave. Why don't you just mind your business? I don't know, pretty sus. But it looks like this fight is really close. Man, you might have spawned in more people, but my knife toilets are putting up a lot of damage against your guys. Yeah, those katanas look super sharp. This is insane. Come on, guys, we have to win this. We cannot lose to Zoe. And oh, no, wait, this isn't looking good. A bunch of my katanas are dropping. Yikes, it looks like you might actually lose this round. It, wait, I think that was my last katana. What the heck? I literally just lost. How is it even possible? I told you I was going to win this round, Dax. Oh, whatever, Zoe. Let's just move on to the next round. And what the heck is this guy doing here? This guy's really creepy. That guy is super creepy. I don't know where he came from. Let me just get rid of him. What the heck, Dax? Was that lightning? I knew you were behind it. Uh, no, Zoe. Let's move on to the next round. What in the world, guys? I can't believe Zoe actually beat us in that last round. Man, her army was just way too strong. But let's go ahead and spy through our one way glass we can win this next round and figure out what she's gonna do and wait why does she have obsidian on her side what's she doing how did this obsidian get here this is super weird it kind of looks like a portal wait did zoe just say it looks like a portal i guess i have to jump in and see what's inside wait she's gonna jump in what the heck wait guys we have to follow her quick let's go ahead and grab ourselves a nice invisibility potion and then i'll just splash it on ourselves and then we can just run over there and follow her okay let's just go ahead and run up to this portal it perfectly made it in. and wait look guys there's zoe right there whoa there's a chest down here and it looks like there's a scary toilet spawn egg Ooh, i can definitely use this in this mob battle wait what the heck is a scary toilet spawn egg i have to get to the surface so i can spawn in this mob this could be crazy oh no guys this isn't good it, oh wait she just bumped me wait what the heck did i just run into someone oh my gosh guys i might be invisible but she could still hit me that was really weird i must be lagging it must not be a big deal oh my gosh guys that was way too close but okay let's go ahead and head back up and then we can see what this scary toilet even is i've never heard of anything like that before and wait a second what in the world is this this guy is so scary whoa this guy is super scary i'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of them oh Oh gosh, guys, this is not good. Zoe is spawning in so many people. This hot battle is getting really, really scary. Oh man, did it get darker again? This is just getting creepier and creepier. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, it got darker and she has this really weird, scary toilet. Okay, we have to think of something good. Quick, let's go ahead and head back to our site and then I can get myself a bucket of milk so I can get rid of this invisibility. And now that we're back over here and man, she spawned in a whole lot of people. Okay, this is not good, guys. What in the world should I even do? Oh, wait a second. I have the perfect idea. What if I make a mob combiner? Okay, and basically all I have to do right now is type in this command. And wow, look at that, guys. Now we have a mob combining machine. And basically, if I put two different mobs on each side and hit this lever, it'll combine to be one super scary mob. Okay, on this side over here, I think I actually want to spot it in a zombie because zombies are super, super scary. 
let's go ahead and put him down and i'm also gonna go ahead and throw one of these horror potions inside just to make it even scarier and actually earlier zoe had that one really creepy toilet so what if i go ahead and steal that and if i type in this command right here i can just see inside of zoe's inventory and oh my gosh guys look at this and wait i think this is that toilet from earlier let's just go ahead and make a copy so she doesn't get suspicious and then i can just move on with all my spotting okay let's go ahead and put this toilet on this side over here and this is perfect now all i have to do is hit this lever and let's see what it ends up making and oh wait a second guys i think it actually worked oh my gosh this looks like a zombie toilet this guy is so scary okay this is actually kind of freaking me out now but i think i need to go ahead and build my army so let's go ahead and grab his spot egg so i can spot in a bunch of these guys wow these guys are totally intimidating and you know what i could actually use i could also grab ourselves that shrink ray from earlier and i could make them even bigger and whoa look how big they are now this is gonna be like the craziest round ever the zombie toilets versus those really creepy scary toilets and man who do you guys even think is gonna win this round you can either comment team zombie or team scary but i do want to give my guys a bit more of an unfair advantage all i have to do is go into my inventory and type in this thing called mob and then i can grab one of these enchantment books and now basically I just walk around and then click on any one of my zombie toilets, they'll start to glow, which means they're super powerful. And let's go ahead and click on a bunch of these guys because I want my zombie toilets to be as strong as possible to go up against Zoe's army. Okay, Zoe, well, my army is basically ready to go. Are you ready for this third round in our mob battle? I am so ready. Let's get this thing done. And here we go. It looks like the round has officially started, Zoe. Whoa, Dex, what the heck did you build? Oh, this is basically a combining machine, and I combined two different things to make this zombie toilet, you see. This is super crazy. How did you have enough time to build a combining machine? Uh, because like I'm like a super ultra genius, Zoe. Like, come on, I'm like the best builder ever, basically. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly call you that, but whatever. Come on, zombie toilets. We have to win this. My guys are like 20 times your little people's height. There's no way they could win. Yeah, but they could be super weak. Come on, there's no way that your stupid scary toilets can beat my zombie toilets. How did you know the name of my mobs? Oh gosh, guys, wait, she doesn't even know that I knew that. Uh I just uh grabbed one of their spawn eggs by clicking on them and it said scary toilet. Yeah. Hey Dax, don't grab my spawn eggs. That's cheating. Oh, okay, Zoe. I'm really sorry. Come on, zombie toilets. We have to win this. Keep fighting. And oh, wait. I'm seeing a lot of people dropping. What in the world is going on? Yikes. You might actually lose this round. No way. I still have a few big guys left. And wait, they just got taken out too. Oh, no. I don't think I have anyone left. Woohoo. I'm the winner. Oh, my God, Zoe. I can't believe you won. And that means if you win one more round, you're going to win the mob battle. And guess what? I am going to win the next round. And I'm going to be the mob battle champion. No way, Zoe. Let's just move on to round number four. Oh, Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe we actually lost to Zoe. Now she wins one more round. She's going to end up winning. And wait, did it get super dark again? What the heck? Okay, come on, guys. We have to focus up. Let's see what Zoe's going to try and pull off for this fourth round. Yikes. It is so dark outside. I need to hurry up and win this mob battle. Okay, I think I'm going to combine the spider with the skibbity toilet. And oh my goodness. Wait, it actually made a multi-head spider. This is so creepy. Perfect. It worked. It's better than I even imagined. And now I got a spawn egg so I can build my army. This guy is definitely gonna let me win the mob battle this has to be like the scariest thing i've ever seen these are like multi-head spiders and they're super huge too okay let me go ahead and think of something i can do for this round and i still do have this combining device so maybe i should utilize it i think on one side over here i'm gonna go ahead and keep that same toilet that we had spawned in oh and wait i put down the modification station first okay we're gonna go ahead and use that and basically this adds a bunch of really cool upgrades to anything now let's go ahead and walk over here and this is where i'm gonna throw in that skibbity toilet and let's just hit this lever and see See what it ends up making and oh my goodness wait this guy is so creepy i think it made like an astronaut toilet this guy has to be one of the scariest things i've ever seen okay let's go ahead and take this guy out of here and then i want to spot it a whole bunch of these guys outside our little combiner man this army of these ufo toilets are gonna be so creepy i don't think there's any way that zoe could pull off this round and what a second what if i even make one more scary bob okay quick let's run to this other side over here and i'm gonna put in that normal toilet we just had and then on this other side we're gonna put in this scientist and now if i combine the both of them we should get some type of scientist toilet let's see what this does and oh my goodness guys look at that it looks like we got a scientist toilet let's go ahead and let this guy out and he's gonna be the general of our army so let's just go ahead and smack him down up here and then i need to go ahead and get our shrink right and make him really big this guy looks so intimidating and i 
definitely think he can crush Zoe army by himself. Okay, Zoe, well, I think I'm ready for this next round to begin. And let me just tell you, you are not winning the mob battle this round. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. I have a whole bunch of mobs on my side, so I'll just wish you good luck. Well, we'll see about that. The walls have officially dropped. Whoa, this guy is absolutely huge. Yep, he's my scientist toilet, and he's the leader of this entire army, as you can tell because he's glowing. Yeah, why is he glowing? What does that mean? Uh, it means he's the leader, does Zoe? I just said that. Hey, Stax, you don't have to be so mean. But man, you spotted a bunch of multi-head spider toilets. This might be a lot closer than I thought. Yep, it is a pretty close match. It, wait a second. It looks like you took out most of my little UFOs. What the heck? Yeah, and I still have a whole bunch of mobs left. All that's left is your general. Oh, but don't worry. He's super strong. Get down there, general, and beat them all up. No way. All of my mobs are going to take him down so quick. Oh, gosh. He's getting absolutely jumped. Come on, general. You have to pull this out. I know you're by far the strongest skimmy character that I spotted, so there's no way you can lose. Die, general. Die. Come on, keep fighting them all off. We can totally win this. And wait, Zoe, I think he's actually going to work. He's taking out a bunch of your multi-head spider toilets. This is not good. Where did my whole army go? Come on, guys, keep beating them up. We have to win this scientist toilet. You are the general after all. Man, this is not looking good for me. You may actually win this round. And boom, Zoe, I think your last multi-head spider just got taken out, which means I win that round. Man, I really thought I was going to win, but... Your scientist toilet definitely took the cake. Yeah, he was just way too overpowered. But now the score is going to be two to two. So we have to move on to our final round to see who the winner is going to be. And it's going to be me. And perfect, guys. We ended up beating Zoe. And wait, I think it's like pitch black outside now, which means this is the ultimate final round. Let's go ahead and spy through our one-way glass to see what Zoe's going to try and pull off for this final round. For this last round, I think I'm just going to use all of my old spawn eggs and spawn in all of my old mobs. Wait, she's spawning in all of her old mobs. Like, that's actually kind of a genius idea. If she has all of her old mobs, it's going to be a really powerful round. Well, how about we do the exact same thing? I'm pretty sure I still have all my spawn eggs. And yep, look at that right here. I have all of my old spawn eggs. And we'll just make our army equally as big as Zoe. So we can definitely take her out. But this is going to be one insane round. And I have no idea who's going to win. But who do you guys think is going to win this final round? You can comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Zoe. And actually, guys, I should probably help out my army a bit more. So let's go ahead and grab that Shriek Ray. And I'll also grab this mob enchantment book. And then I'll just walk around and make a bunch of my guys way bigger. This is definitely going to be one insane round. And I have no idea who's going to end up winning this. But I hope it's going to be us. Let's go ahead and add some enchants to our UFO, guys. And then we'll add some enchants to one of these knife toolers, and this is gonna be so insane. Okay, Zoe, are you ready for this final round in our horror mob battle? I am so ready. We need to get this over with. It's getting too dark outside. And here we go, Zoe. The final round has started. Wait, you spotted all of your old mobs? Yep, I sure did. And it looks like you did the same. What a coincidence. Uh, yeah, Zoe. I guess great minds just think alike, right? Yeah, we are both so smart. But I still definitely think my guys are gonna pull out this round. I think I spawned in way more people than you. I don't think so at all. I spawned in a bunch of people we'll see about that come on guys keep fighting i can barely tell whose army's who right now because everyone's just getting jumped yeah this is kind of madness in here i don't know who's gonna win and oh no i feel like i'm starting to see a lot of people dropping come on this better not be i army but i can't even tell until the whole round's over well you still have a lot of your big people left so i don't even know if i'm gonna win Ooh, one of them just fell two of them just fell oh gosh this is such a close fight this could really be anyone's game and wait no i think i'm losing now oh man i may actually win the mob battle wait no way oh come on i gotta grab something to help my army out let me get a lightning dynamite and then i can just light it off everywhere and wait i think i already lost what the heck dax no cheating and lightning dynamite i knew you were behind that oh uh, no zoe i didn't do any of that earlier and wait i still have a few people left i could totally win this no i don't think so i still have a large army left come on guys we have to win this i think my hair bride toilets might be able to pull this out oh man it looks like my guys are going down you may actually win this come on my hair bride toilets are just too strong and i think there's only one parasite left and boom zoe we just took him out what the heck i really thought i was gonna win well, Zoe, that was probably one of our closest mob battles yet. So you actually might have a chance to win the next one. I think I definitely will, especially if you don't cheat. Well, anyway, Zoe, are you excited for today's Skibbity mob battle? And wait, why are you so ginormous? I am so excited. I love the Skibbity characters, and I don't really know why I'm so tall. I think I just grew. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, we have five minutes to spot on your mobs. Best of luck, Zoe. 
Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys. Now Zoe can't hear us because we're right behind the wall. But little does she know is I set up some secret cameras over there on that side that I'm going to use to mess with her. And let's see. I should have a hidden chest somewhere over here with a secret trap door. It all oh, perfect. There it goes. And inside of here is that chest I was talking about. And boom, look at this. There's a camera monitor. So using this camera monitor right here, I can go ahead and look inside. And oh my gosh, look, we can see on Zoe's side. For this first round, I think I'm going to spawn in the buzz toilet. And I know it's buzzsaw is going to absolutely destroy Dax's army. Wait a second. Did Zoe just spawn in the buzz toilet? Oh my gosh. This is like one of the strongest skibbity characters ever. Okay. I actually might have a tough round for this. And then I make this buzz toilet even better by using this size changer to make it huge. Wait, did she just say she's going to use a size changer to make it huge? And what the heck? These guys are like 20,000 feet tall now. Man, with mobs this big, there's no way that I can lose this mob battle. Okay, guys, Zoe has ginormous buzzsaws over there. So this is looking a little bit scary. So what should I probably even try to do for this first round? Oh, wait a second. I have a really good idea. What if we spawn in the TV man and we also pair it with a TV woman? These are like some of the strongest characters and skibbity so let's just look at the tv woman first and man she does look super super cool and she's honestly pretty tall i didn't think she was this tall but now we have to go ahead and see what the tv man looks like and whoa this guy is also super cool but oh gosh wait i think his arm is broken a little bit that's a little bit funky but either way he should be really strong and since zoe's probably spawning in a bunch of people let's just go take a look real quick and oh gosh yeah she does have a lot of people let me just go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these characters so our army could completely match her and also, I want to give my mobs a little bit of an advantage. So I'm going to use this one thing called the Mob Enchant Book. And basically, if I click on any of them, they'll start glowing because they'll be super, super enchanted. So let's just make sure to do this to a bunch of the people in our army so they can be as strong as possible to take out Zoe's people. And I just realized something. Zoe does have a size changer. Let me go ahead and look how big they are. And oh my gosh, these guys are ginormous. What if I just look into Zoe's inventory and take that size changer from her? So if I type in this command right here, I can instantly look in Zoe's inventory and wait, is that the size changer right there? Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and steal this so I can use it for my army. What the heck? Where did my size changer go? <gasps> Wait a second, guys. I forgot to make a copy and I literally just stole it from her. Oh no, hopefully she doesn't get too mad. Well, I guess I already made a couple of guys big and I think that'll be good enough. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, good. Okay, she's already made a few of her guys big, so it doesn't really matter anymore. So now I can just use it for my own fun. Let's just go ahead and click on a few of my people and whoa, look at the TV woman. She is so ginormous now. Okay, I'm also going to click on the TV man, and then I'm going to keep running around and clicking on a bunch of them because I want my army to crush Zoe's. And who do you guys think is going to win this round? You can either comment Team Dax or Team Zoe, but I better see no one commenting Team Zoe. Otherwise, I'm going to be super mad at you guys. Okay, Zoe, well, my army is ready to go for this first round, and let me just just tell you you're about to get embarrassed yeah i seriously doubt that dax but drop the wall and let's see and here we go zoe the first round of our mob battle has officially started whoa this is madness how are some of your guys big oh uh yeah my guys are big because um i gave them a lot of cake to eat so now they're super ginormous yeah giving them cake isn't really supposed to make them big well that's the way it works Zoe. and your guys are big too and wait are these bus toilets this bus all looks so dangerous i don't even want to get close to them yeah that was the whole strategy behind that but i actually lost a size changer and i think that you're the one that stole it wait you think i stole your size changer zoe why would i steal your size changer i literally don't even like that stuff i don't know to make your mobs big uh no that's nothing i would do but man this is a really close fight i think this is anyone's fight at the moment i think i'm gonna win come on guys we have to beat zoe she is literally too confident we have to embarrass her and oh no a bunch of people are starting to fall this is not good it looks like my guys are falling wait but it looks like my guys are falling too oh no i have no idea who's even gonna win this round it looks like there's a lot more buzz toilets left it might be me no, come on. I still have a couple TV men left and that guy's glowing. Wait, no, he got taken out. Dang, that guy got dropped pretty fast. It, wait, I think that was my last TV man. Even though he was like 30 feet tall, he got taken out by the bus toilets. Woohoo, I win the first round. Oh my gosh, Zoe, whatever. Don't get too confident. Let's just move on to the second round, okay? Okay, let's go. What the heck, guys? We actually lost to Zoe in that first round. Oh, this really sucks. But of course, we're gonna have to win this second round. So let me use my camera monitors and see what Zoe's doing. Let's just click inside of it and i'll go to camera number two and wait what the camera at this position doesn't work wait why does my camera not work anymore oh no guys not my cameras i have absolutely no way to win what am i even gonna do for this round well i guess i'm gonna have to figure out something because i can totally not lose to zoe and 
what the heck is this some type of weird portal and wait a second nothing's even behind it that is so cool we should probably go inside and check it out let me just walk up to this super cool portal and go inside and wait is that skibbity dop over there what the heck is he doing here well i mean he is a pretty friendly guy so maybe we can just walk in there and talk to him and wait is that a chest back there too oh my gosh maybe i can get something good hey uh mr skibbity dop why is there a chest over there and what the heck are you doing in our mob battle oh well i just wanted to help you out but to prove you're worthy or not i set up a little bit of parkour for you to do wait you set up a bit of parkour for me to do and you want to see if i'm worthy worthy for what well inside of this chest i have something super super good that will guarantee you a win oh my gosh guys wait if he says something super good in that chest we totally have to check it out okay skip me up i'm gonna go ahead and do this parkour and make it over there best of luck okay come on let's go ahead and do this first jump and whoa there is a bunch of lava underneath okay this is actually a bit scary but i am a professional parkour there is no way i could mess this up okay there's only a few jumps left one more jump and perfect i made it over skibbly top now can i go inside that chest and get whatever you were talking about oh yes of course now you can go inside and see what's in there oh perfect let me see and wait what the heck is this thing a one-way glass maker skibbity dop what is a one-way glass maker well if you walk over to that bedrock wall over there and click on it it'll instantly turn into glass uh well if it turns into glass zoe's gonna be able to see what i spawn in skibbity dop i don't want to do that oh no bro it turns into one-way glass so it'll be glass for you but it'll be normal bedrock for zoe what the heck skibbity dop you are literally a genius i'm totally gonna win this mob battle now let me go ahead and run back and get all my stuff set up best of luck wow guys skibbity top was literally so cool and he gave us this awesome one-way glass maker and wait he said whenever i click on the bedrock wall it's literally gonna turn into glass uh i kind of don't believe that but i mean i guess we're gonna figure it out let's just walk up to it and click on it and see what it does and wait a second what this whole thing actually turned into one-way glass that is so cool and i can see everything on zoe's side and what the heck did she spawn in wow these scary toilets are definitely living up to their name they are super creepy wait she spawned in a scary toilet and wait i can see the bus saw and this guy has such a creepy face oh my god so he did spawn in a super scary army what the heck am i gonna do and i know for a fact that dex has no clue what he's doing so i'm definitely gonna win this round okay guys zoe is now starting to talk way too much trash so let's think of something really good that we can do and wait a second i have the perfect idea what if we spawn in the skibbity tank and these guys are really strong and they're powered by the cameraman which means they're gonna be even stronger than zoe's characters and actually this does look a little bit small so what if i go ahead and grab that size changer from earlier and let's make them three times the size that they are now and Oh, these guys are so big okay let's go ahead and start spawning in a bunch of these guys because i want my army to be super super powerful to take out zoe's and of course we'll also use this mob enchant book because why not make them as cool as possible and after use the mob enchantment book i'll go ahead and make them super big but man zoe does have a lot of scary toilets this is definitely gonna be one close round okay let me go ahead and make a few of these guys bigger and then i'll see if zoe's ready to lose okay zoe well i think my army is basically ready to go can we go ahead and drop these walls for our second round yep dex let's do this thing well here we go zoe the round has officially started whoa these guys look crazy and they're huge yep these are skibbity tanks and they're powered by the cameraman so you already know they're gonna be extremely strong yeah they do look super strong i wonder how you got them so big wait is that a size changer in your hand uh no zoe that was literally just my tank spawning what are you even talking about i saw a size changer and i actually lost mine so i think you took it uh no i have no idea what you're talking about about wait your scary toilets are completely getting the ball zoe they are so weak this is not good i only have a few more left come on i think you only have the one guy and boom he just got taken out how does that feel to lose a round i don't know you tell me you lost the first one Okay, Zoe, you better stop talking trash and let's just move on to the third round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the third round, I have to ask you, what is this portal doing here? Oh, uh, Zoe, this isn't a portal. See, look, there's absolutely nothing there. What are you even talking about? I definitely saw some lava parkour, but whatever you say, Dax, you just like to keep secrets. And perfect, guys. Using that super cool one-way glass, we completely destroyed Zoe. But now we need to focus up and win the next round. So let's go ahead and use it to see what she's going to spot in. Okay, I need to start trying because I can't let Dax win. In this mob battle i think i'm gonna spawn in the glitch toilet and the g-man wait did she just spawn in the glitch toilet and the g-man she literally spawned in two different characters and both of them look extremely strong and you already know i have to spawn in a whole bunch of them because the bigger my army the less chance i have to lose 
Oh my gosh, guys, this completely sucks. But hey, at least they're really not that big, right? And the good thing is, is I actually found my size changer on the ground last round. And that means that I can make my guys huge. Wait, she found the size changer in... Oh my gosh, wait, they're so big. But no, I swear I have the size changer. And what the heck? Wait, where did it go? When in the world did I drop it? Dex is totally going down this round. Okay, guys, if I don't figure out something fast, Zoe honestly might be right and I might lose this round. So let's go ahead and think what's something cool I could do. And wait, for that first round, I spawned in the TV man and the TV woman, but they weren't that strong. So maybe I should spawn in the camera man and camera woman and they'll be way better. First up, we're going to go ahead and spawn in the camera man. And whoa, this guy looks super cool and wait he even has these really cool plungers on his back which he can probably use to beat up all of zoe's toilets but next we have to look at the camera woman who's a pretty new character to the skibbity but she's really really strong and wow she does look really cool she has a bunch of detail on the head and she's honestly probably bigger than the cameraman so i bet she's gonna be way stronger but let's go ahead and start our army by spawning in a huge layer of these camera ninjas in the front to take out zoe's army and then in the rear we're gonna spawn in a bunch of the camera women so they can be extremely strong and just stay in the back and take out all of zoe's army but hmm, she does have g-men which are probably the strongest person in skibbity so we're gonna need to help out our people a bit let me go ahead and use this mob enchantment book and i'll go ahead and enchant a few of my guys just like this so they could be as strong as possible and perfect i think my army's looking good and wait what in the world is that sound it kind of sounds like a car man i'm definitely gonna win this round and i'm so happy that i bought this couch car from that hobo because i have so much time to spare wait what the heck zoe has a couch car and she says she bought it from some hobo what the heck even is that why is she riding a couch car okay zoe definitely looks like she's having way too much fun over there so why don't i mess with her a little bit and i actually have this one really cool mod that lets me transform into any one of zoe's characters and look at this i can now transform into the super cool super awesome g-man and since i'm the g man i can just walk over to zoe's side and she's not going to be suspicious at all and whoa look at that guys we actually made it over and i blended with all of zoe's characters since i look exactly like all of them dax won't even know what hit him this round i'm definitely gonna demolish him and then i'm gonna win the other rounds and be the mob battle champion okay zoe actually might be right right now because she does have a lot of people and they're all super super big so why don't i start by taking them out with this mob killer let's just walk up to all of these g-man and start clicking on a bunch of them and take them all out zoe's gonna be so mad and oh wait a second guys zoe was right there hopefully she didn't see anything wait did i just see some of my mobs die oh my gosh wait a second guys she was way too close and she might have caught us hopefully she doesn't get mad or anything well maybe i was just seeing things and people didn't actually die maybe i was just lagging oh my gosh wait a second guys he thinks he was actually just lagging okay that is a way too funny but maybe we should do something a little less harmful so she doesn't get mad at us and i know zoe says she picked up that size changer earlier so why don't i use that one command to look at her inventory and steal it back let's just go ahead and type in this command and whoa look at that there goes the size changer but this time i'm gonna be smart and make a copy so zoe doesn't know and now i'm gonna make everything extremely small and just make her army super super tiny so they can't even fight my people let's just go around and click on a bunch of these guys because i want her army to be super super tiny and lose to me wait what's going on with my army why are some of them shrinking oh my gosh guys wait so he's actually noticing that our army's getting super tiny this is hilarious i still have this shrinking device in my inventory i don't know what's going on dad uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? Why are you screaming right now? My mobs are shrinking. I don't know what's going on. This isn't a fair mob battle. Wait, did you say your mobs are shrinking, Zoe? Yeah, they're shrinking. They're getting super small. Hmm, well, let me think. Have you happened to feed your army at all today? Feed them? What do you mean, feed them? Uh, what do you mean by what do I mean, Zoe? You have to feed your army. They're literally people, and if they don't eat, they're gonna get super hungry and shrink down. Well, what am I supposed to feed them? Well, Zoe, you remember in the first round when I said I used cake to make my people big? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. Go ahead and feed them a bunch of cake, and I promise you, they'll all get super big. Okay, I'm laying some cake down. Wait, guys, Zoe's actually putting cake down. Little does she know, this actually makes them super, super small. This is gonna be hilarious. Oh, wait a second, guys. A bunch of them just shrunk down. Oh, my gosh. This is so funny. What the heck? Even more of them shrunk. Dax. Uh, hey, Zoe, what's up? Why are you screaming again? My mobs are still shrinking. In fact, they're shrinking faster and faster. What did you do? Uh, I didn't do anything. What do you mean? What did you do? They're your army, not my army. I fed them the cake and they got smaller. Your advice was bad. Oh, uh, 
Well, that's a little bit unfortunate, Zoe. Uh, I'm just going to go back to my side and worry about my army. You have fun with that. What do you mean go back to your side? <gasps> Wait a second, guys. I just said the wrong thing. Uh, I didn't mean back to my side, Zoe. I meant back to working on my army so we can defeat you. Yeah. Um I don't believe you for a second, Dax. Well, I don't care what you believe. I'm going to go get my army ready, okay? Ugh, whatever, Dax. You're definitely up to something, but carry on. And whoa, guys, that was way too close. Let me go ahead and morph back into my normal self so Zoe doesn't catch on after the walls drop. And wait a second, did one of Zoe's people get over to my side? Uh, that's a little bit weird. And wait a second, what if I steal this guy's spawning and spawn in a bunch of them? And Zoe's gonna be so bad that they're on my side now. Okay, Zoe, well, I think my army's basically ready to go and you're gonna be in for a big surprise when the walls drop. Yeah, I seriously doubt that, but go ahead and drop the wall. And here we go, Zoe. The round has officially started. Whoa, you spawned in a bunch of guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. And wait, I have some glitch toilets too. It looks like you spawned in the same thing. Isn't that funny? Yeah. How did you get that spawn egg? Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to spawn it in. What are you talking about? Hmm, just seems funny since I chose that one. And Zoe, what the heck is this thing? Is this like a little couch car? That's my couch car. Hey, I didn't give you permission to ride it. Wait, you just broke your couch car. What the heck is wrong with you? Because if I can't ride it, nobody can. Uh, okay. But Zoe, it looks like your army's kind of getting crushed. You only have a few people left. Are you serious? Those guys are supposed to be super strong. Yeah, I think your last person's getting jumped right now. And oh my God, Zoe, this was a pathetic effort from you. This means I'm going to be up two to one in the mob battle. This is not good. I'm going to try super hard this next round. I doubt it's even going to make a difference. I'm going to be the ultimate mob battle champion. Let's go on to round number four. And perfect, guys. We completely destroyed Zoe in that round. But of course, we're going to have to use our one-way glass to finally win this final round. So let's see. What is Zoe even going to try and do? Okay, I have to try super hard this round. So I'm going to spawn in the spider toilet and the parasite toilet. Wait, did she just spawn in the spider toilet and the parasite toilet? Oh no, this is a really deadly combination. I might want to take back what I said earlier. These mobs are super duper scary. I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of them. Okay, guys, Zoe is spawning in a bunch of them, which means we have to think of something really good. Who could even take out these guys, they're so big. And wait a second, what if I spawn in Titans to help me win this round? That's the perfect idea. And for the Titans I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna start off by using the upgraded TV man. And whoa, this guy looks super, super powerful. And of course, I'm also gonna spawn in the upgraded cameraman. And wow, this guy's even cooler than the TV man. He even has the huge hammer. And with these guys on my team, I'm sure there's no way that we could lose. I mean, they are Titans after all, but I kind of do want to give them an advantage by using this enchantment book to make them even stronger. So let me go ahead and click on him and I'll click on that guy. And how about we make them two times the height that they normally are? Because you already know the bigger they get, the stronger they are. And they're going to completely smack around Zoe's army like this. Okay, Zoe, my army is already ready to go. Can we just go ahead and drop the walls down early? Yep, let's do this thing, Dex. And here we go, Zoe, the fourth round, or should I just say the final round because I'm going to win has started. Dax, you only spawned in two guys. That is not a good idea. Uh, Zoe, these are literally Titans and Titans don't go down easily. I think they can take out their whole army by themselves. These are literally Titans. Yeah, but they're going to get destroyed by my mobs. What the heck, Zoe? Did you just make fun of me? That's so mean. It's not mean. It's the truth. Okay, well, just wait. My Titans are totally going to kick them in the face. Look, these guys are all getting kicked right now by the Titan TV man. Um, I think that your Titan TV man is getting destroyed by my army. I don't know, Zoe. It actually looks like they're taking out quite a few of them. I might win this round. Just wait. We have a strategy. Uh, what is your strategy, Zoe? Do you want to share it with me? No, you'll just have to wait and see. <sighs> okay, whatever. Come on, guys. Keep beating them up and... Wait, what the heck? They just lost at the same time. Bada bing, bada boom. We sent in the first round of people to tire them out, and then I sent my stronger people second, so then they would die. Oh my gosh, that is such a stupid strategy. It's stupid, but I still won. Whatever. Well, that makes the score two to two, which means we have to move on to the tiebreaker round in order to see who the mob battle champion's gonna be. Let's do this thing. I'm ready to win. Guys, what in the world? I can't believe we actually lost to Zoe. Her army was super, super strong that last round. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and use this one-way glass so we can see what Zoe's doing and I can finally destroy her in this mob battle. For this final round, I'm gonna spawn in the multi-head spider toilet and the lava toilet. Wait, she spawned in the multi-head spider toilet and the lava toilet? 
what the heck? Both of these guys look so strong. And this combo is going to go crazy. I'm going to spawn in a whole bunch of them. Okay, Zoe is spawning in a bunch of them, but don't worry, guys. I actually have a super good idea for this round. Basically, what I want to do is combine the Titan Cameraman and the Titan TV Man to make the ultimate combo man. But in order to do that, I need to make a combiner machine. And luckily, I can just make that by typing in this command slash slash paste. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this. It actually came into our world. That is so cool. And all I need to do for this round is just put one person on this side and one on the other side and hit this lever and they'll combine. So let's start off by putting the Titan TV man over on this side right here. And wow, he's even so tall, his head kind of sticks out. But of course, we also have to do the upgraded Titan cameraman because they're going to be the ultimate combination when they're together. They might have lost that last round, but once they're combined to be one strong mob, there's no way they can lose. Let's go ahead and hit the lever and see what it does. And wait a second, guys, did it actually work? I can barely see it in there because it's so tall. Let's go ahead and take this guy out and see what it looks like. All I have to do is pick him up like this and put him on the ground. And whoa, wait, it actually did combine to make a combination of both the Titans. And since it's like the ultimate Titan, he could probably take out all of Zoe's army by himself. But I'm not going to make the same mistake as last round. I'm going to grab the spawning of the combo Titan and spawn it a bunch of them to completely destroy Zoe's army. And who do you think is going to win this final round? You can either comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Zoe. And actually, I have a really funny prank that I could pull on Zoe this round. If you didn't know, Zoe's super scared of the dark. So what I'm going to do is type in this command here in any second now it'll become instantly dark oh no it just got dark outside i don't like the dark <laughs> see guys i told you zoe's already freaking out because it's so dark dax we need to drop the wall i can't take it much longer ah uh, fine zoe we can go ahead and drop the walls i know you're scared of the dark and here we go zoe the final round of our mob battle has officially started whoa how did you get a combo titan uh because i built this super cool combining machine and combined both titans to make a combo titan you had enough time to build a combining machine this is totally unfair uh how's it fair zoe i only built it fast because i'm a super ultra genius yeah yeah, 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 whatever. I could have done it too if I thought of it. Well, obviously you didn't think of it. And obviously you just took a huge L because your army sucked. No, I thought those guys were surely going to deliver me a W. Well, you surely just took an L. Maybe you can get better and win the next mob battle. I am. I'm going to try super hard. And if you guys enjoyed that video and want to watch more Dax and Zoe, make sure to click one of the videos on screen. Bye, guys.